told Zawa this just not long ago, but I got Chingy in Zenless. So she's actually pretty pretty fun to use. Um Her actual stun or like days or whatever you call it mm -hmm. is not like crazy fast, which makes sense because um, when you go in, like, have you, have you used her in the trial thing? Yes. Yes. Or like in the story order. Yeah. Like when you like hit a lot of buttons with her, she does that thing. She does that like that, like that rapid, like fucking, I don't know what you call it, but yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to kill the fly. Yeah. You're, you're trying to swat a fly fucking <laughs> technique. Um, yeah, if, if her stun is like the same as like let's say uh, Ambi's, then she'd be stupid broken. <laughs> so they, it, it, it kind of makes sense why her actual stun rate is a little lower than others. Yeah. yeah, but once you get her all charged up and stuff, yeah, then she she brings it. But um, she's fun. I like I like Chingy. I'm um, uh I I mean. Now I have three stun units or impact units, quote unquote. Although um, Ambi is a little more benched than anything, because I I already have um, what's his face up, um, Lycan. He's a uh, I leveled him up enough to be able to use him. I definitely use him during like the Shiyu defense, because uh, you know it requires two teams. Yeah, so I I use him for that. Yeah, he's he's a little more like different i guess because you have to like um hold it hold, hold the buttons i guess is that is that is that correct yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to do his charge yeah you have, to, you have to like charge a lot with the with um lichen because you, you essentially want to keep his his legs blue <laughs> so that, that's essentially the game with with lichen which is funny so a little more brain power with uh, Lycan, but yeah, he's still. I, I think he's pretty good. But what she, uh, what Chingy also kind of brings is damage. So she kind of is like a, a bit of a mix of like, DPS, uh, impact, and uh, or days and uh, some I think buffing qualities as well, if I'm not mistaken. So I think she is the new hotness for. At least for now. Until, you know, power creep or whatever sets in. I heard that, uh, what's her face? Jane is slated to be, uh, future proofed. So, which means, um, she will not be power creep so quickly like some other characters. But that's like word on the street, so I don't know how much salt you want to take that. <laughs> How much grains of salt you want to take just, that? Just, just, just inject it, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude. You take grains of salt to your veins. That's kind of, yeah. That's kind of dangerous. <laughs> that sounds like a, the whole like. Remember that? Remember that whole like bleach to the veins shit with, was his face Trump? <laughs> yeah. Or what was that's it? No, no, it wasn't it's bleach. Fine. It was uh, what was it? Lysol or something? It was it was some dumb dumb thing. Um, yeah, whatever. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, Alrighty. What's in our dukits? <laughs> the 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 duke it. <laughs> the fuck it. The fuck yeah. The fuck. The, <laughs> the fuck. The, 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 yeah 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 yeah. Fuck the fuck yeah exactly. The fuck you meant. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so today's fuck you, man. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Alright, let's start with the, let's start the show. Alright, so... Uh, it is episode 289 of the Hypecast. Welcome, everyone. Hope everyone's been doing good. Uh, another week has definitely passed, but this time it was the Gamescom uh, show that happened throughout the week. Um, there was a lot that happened during the opening, but I didn't like see the rest of it. If there was anything else new, uh, that's all I saw on my end. But we'll definitely go through it um, during the uh, Gamescom bit uh, later on. 
we got some stuff to talk about yeah we got some stuff to talk about during the fighting game portion of things which did also happen i think at gamescom so there'll be some sort of like um repeating points as uh um in the show mm -hmm. and then yeah so we got games to talk about we got some oh yeah we got uh hopefully we can get to the uh what do you call the streaming shows and visual entertainment side of things as well but yeah we do have a lot to talk about when it comes to um game gamescom so let's uh get to it but before we do that uh let me see let me do one more thing for the show which i almost forgot once again but <laughs> uh oh yeah let me hit this you almost forgot to bring our special guest. Yeah, quote unquote special guest, which is the soundboard. <laughs> so oh yeah, let me bring in the soundboard on my iPad here. That's this is this is my hack, quote unquote, for bringing up the soundboard and making it into a, like a touch screen thing. Uh, where nice. is it? Yeah. All right, here we go. This battle is about to explode. Yeah. So wait, can we put in my coin? <laughs> the quarter, yeah, quarters up, man. Quarters up. That's how it works, man. All right, man. Sorry, so we only take yens here. It's like oh. a hundred, a hundred yen, a hundred yen. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because that's like a dollar essentially. You're putting in a dollar per per credit, that which is crazy. But that's a, that's how Japan works, man. But yeah, I mean, I've never seen like. Uh, an arcade machine that's like for um, like 50 yen or something or 10 yen. I've only seen 100 yen. That's like the the standard for every yeah. The, like yeah. the, the state the standard safe not like like safe uh, default value. For yeah. A credit. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that's like the go-to essentially amount for each credit. Yeah. Yes. But if if you don't know the 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 value of the yen, and let's say you do you go into those um claw machine um arcade buildings and you're like oh yeah how um, you know the, you do the the game and you find you eventually won as i want to ask like how many yen did you use uh for a total i use i use 30 of these oh no <laughs> you're just staring like <laughs> 30. <laughs> can, can i see what was the prize <sighs> Oh, honey, you could have bought this at a fucking Don Quixote for like 10 bucks. Don Quixote, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you it's mentioned that. Shit, yeah, I love that you mentioned Don Quixote. And for those who are going ever go to Japan, what is it? If it's like more... If, if you see a very big Don Quixote, stay away from floor number four, I believe. Mm. Is it four or five? That I'm not sure. Why you referring? Because uh, on on those floors they sell uh tin. <laughs> hmm. Tin. Oh. <laughs> <I'm not> gonna... <laughs> yeah. how, how do I know that? Because my dumbass friend was live streaming that when they went, <laughs> and he's oh. like, "We're going to floor four. Oh, it was like, "Yeah, oh, turn the camera off." <laughs> your uh, mom is watching this she's gonna be wondering what the hell is that yeah man what is that red and white um bottle looking things like uh plastic yes <laughs> it's a toy <laughs> <laughs> It's somebody's toy. <laughs> that you play behind closed doors. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Alrighty. So, but, so uh, toys aside. Toys uh, are us. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. Toys are us. Yeah. Toy, uh, toys aside, <laughs> um, we do have the iconic My Shidanui final review for uh, uh, Fatal Fury's City of the Wolves. Let's go ahead and fire that up. She has a new getup. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, let Twitch. me go ahead and share the screen. Wait, did I, am I sharing the screen? Hold on. No, you're not. Okay, okay. I thought I, will. I thought I did. Okay. Yeah. So, so everyone who was saying, "Oh, Mai is not gonna make it," it's like, shut up. <laughs> yeah. My Mai is pretty much like the Chun Li of Street Fighter. You, 
and Terry is pretty much you. I love that she has because a special. Oh, sorry about that. Um, go ahead, go ahead, finish your thing. Oh no, I'm just saying that that wherever Terry goes, my follows. Yeah, pretty, pretty much, much, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, I was gonna say, I love that she has an actual like special intro thing. Like even here, it says the true queen of fighters, which I mean, it's she is up there. She definitely is up there. I mean, there's Chun Li, so which is why you know in CBS games you see uh, Mai and Chun Li like as rivals. They're like they're like they're like rival rivals, you know. So yeah, she gets this intro right here, which is actually kind of kind of neat this trailer yeah so all these um artworks are her over the years yes i know i'm in the majority i do like this news <laughs> the new uh, outfit for her i like it i like it I... it's still sexy it is yeah it, ha it has its own and then you have the classic costume, of course. You gotta have the yep. classic, right? No. Oh my. Yeah, the editing. It's a shitty. <laughs> shitty. Wait, hold on, let me play that again. Let me, let me, let me play that again. Shitty, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this screen also is important, but let me uh, um, just point out some things from Mai. So yes, obviously she is in a brand new outfit. Looks like some sort of like, uh, kind kind of biker gearish. Um, well at least the top. It's anyway. modern. It's like, modern, like, yeah. It's modern, or it fits to you know, the city life. Yeah, the city, the urban urban life, exactly. So I mean, yeah, like I'm sorry. If she, you know, you're living in the city, are you really gonna walk around, you know, in the class your, um, in the classic ghetto? The classic, yeah. yeah the, the, you're gonna walk around like that, like yeah. Everyone's gonna think you either working at the red light district or you're in some sort of um cafe, uh, theme cafe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even kind of, <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're um they're sizing up, they're sizing yes, up. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Even the editing in this video is a little different too, because like usually they'll do like the the fade to black and then and then she does this, the her like big super or whatever, but they just like oh like right away you know she gets, she she goes into her no. super like that and her in her no, old no, outfit no. mind you but yeah now I just need to hurt her to say you know Nippon Ichi but you know a lot of people like myself when we were young. I thought she was saying me pointy. Me point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. What? Yes. What's pointy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, something. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's essentially like the big thing too. Like the costume. People were like, oh, it's woke. Oh my God. It's woke. Like. What? <laughs> I Like, oh yeah. And then again, like her, her hair color changes when she's doing like her the, when she's doing the mechanics of the game again it's a nice little little touch up and feature and all that stuff but yeah the the, the comments yeah the comments were kind of just like i i rolled my eyes to that stuff because yeah, they're, they're they are what um modern you know modern people call tourists they just want to start tourists they yeah even, they That's don't even know what the hell you know the game is about I yeah mean, look, look at monster hunter Mm -hmm. We'll get to Monster Hunter's tourists. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. A lot of those tourists, too, are like grifters. What do you call them? Like, they just want to, I don't know, like, just insert their... They're, they're doing it for a clout. And... Clout. They want just want to put their political bullshit in there. And I don't know, mm -hmm. man. They just, they, they think everything has to be political and all that nonsense. Like it, It's so funny of how, like, the definition of uh, woke has been lost so deep. You know, it's like all it is is just you're aware of social issues. So I don't know if um, changing clothes is such a, a social issue, quote unquote. I don't know. Right, she's not sexy anymore. She's yeah, as you. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. 
I don't know. And then she has her classic costumes. It's like, what the? F- what are you really complaining about? Like, what? what, what? I don't know. It's like, if you don't want her to, in her fucking now new costume, there you go. There's the classic. Shut up. Yeah. So what's like? It's like what's really the you know the hoopla, right? What's the what's really the reason you're here to complain and bitch and all that? And stuff. again, like probably the reason why she's in this new getup is because it's part of her her story right now maybe mm-hmm. she's infiltrating something infiltrating something or it, like fuck it like why not have a new outfit or you know like change things up a bit kind of like how well <laughs> six and six a, a lot of people are in different outfits you know like new outfits you know or maybe she's in this outfit because lo and behold she and andy are fucking married <laughs> i don't fucking know <laughs> Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. I see a lot of people forgot about that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. I mean, yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry you, you shippers to uh, Mai and Terry, which I don't know why, but. Right, because she's. Mai has the hot for, for Andy. Yeah, Andy. It's Andy. It's Andy and Mai. And then uh, t- for Terry, it's uh, Blue Mary. So let's not forget about that. <laughs> I mean, maybe you know they they you know they they switch husbands or girl, uh, yeah, husband, girlfriends, uh, switch on, spouses, <laughs> yeah, the, switch spouses on the weekend, on the weekends, yeah. <laughs> Which I don't know if that's actually a thing, but I'm I imagine it's somebody's thing somewhere in the world. But <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, she got a new she outfit. Yeah, yeah, she you no, know, she looks good. She looks good, animated, um, like movement wise, like. I'm sure there's new moves somewhere in this video, but you know, I think the overall gist of it is that yeah, she looks good. Um, I, her face looks great, like in this one too, if I may add, you know. He does not have the uh, Marvel Infinite um, Chun Li face. Oof, yeah, I know. Yeah, right. don't <laughs> don't remind me, man. <laughs> He's gonna be haunting you right next to um Ugly Sonic. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah, I would say also the editing in this video is a lot better, I would say. It's an improvement, in my opinion. Although I don't expect for this kind of intro to be in any other video, because this is my this is my issue to know is this is like she's she's like the poster girl for like S and K in general, I would say. It might at least I, in my, Yeah. I like the like when you from beginning to like mid and then now, mm-hmm. you can tell like she was very like serious fierce 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 yeah yeah, yeah 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 and then now for she... some reason between from the hi the, the hira oh yeah she yeah. just looks fucking deadpan like <laughs> she looks dead in the eyes yeah yeah, like, yeah i'm gonna fucking kill you yeah <laughs> or she's probably she's like seen... just staring at Admi- at andy, andy. Going, like... <laughs> where's my ring I mean, come, come on. on man where's my come ring <laughs> This finger, is waiting for you. <laughs> this finger is waiting for you uh, and then after afterwards she she looks more playful now they're like playful very you. like kawaii desu kind of yeah <laughs> and i think maybe she's a uh, moi there you go moi moi very moi yeah exactly <laughs> yep but i don't know maybe she's going a little more back to the seriousness i think there is a good blend of that now uh maybe Maybe I'm, I'm, maybe I'm crazy, but, but yep. You, you, you got both outfits, so you don't got to worry about the, you know, the, the image. Oops, excuse me. The image that, um, oh. <laughs> how, how angry he, he yeah, punching shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hanging my mic because I'm, I'm tired of this woke bullshit. No. <laughs> um, no. Um, I'm tired of girls looking sexy. I want them to look, <laughs> okay. Right, right. <laughs> um, you yeah. know. It's my right, so yeah. Nipponichi is uh uh definitely in Hero Fury City of the Wolves. So, all right. Um, meanwhile, um, this one. Uh, oh yeah, this is just the full art, the full body artwork, 3D model thing for Mai's new default outfit. So you kind of see with the the boots and everything, high, the high heel boots yeah she still got the butt so yeah yeah you got the badonka don't yeah. but... yep got got that trunk all <laughs> got the trunk and everything up so 
<laughs> um, what is what is going on with the what is going on with the freaking likes and this what what is what am I seeing here? Elon, please fix Twitter. What the hell? All right. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting distracted by this <laughs> weird bug thing that's going on. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, okay, it's no, it looks normal here, but when I like open up the okay, never mind. It was just a momentary thing. That was a weird. That was a weird uh, little bug there. Mm -hmm. But at least there's no bugs or anything on my costume or anything. Any visual mishaps, nothing happened of, of that sort with my. So yeah, I think it's fine. Um, again. You got the classic costumes. There's nothing to, nothing to cry about. Whatever. Yeah. All right. So this one is just some. I think this is from Gamescom. This particular trailer, but um, I don't think it's anything super new, if I'm not mistaken. Other than the uh, the end screen, which we will definitely talk about. Right. South Town. Oh, look at geese. Ambition, a city where legends are made. Here. Vengeful wolves fought against fate and won. Yes, he's dead. Geese is dead, quote unquote. <laughs> Finale. Oh, where's our now, Raven? 25 years later, <laughs> Geese is dead. <laughs> <laughs> the action kicks off with 22 characters. A mix of 17 familiar faces and new blood, plus five DLC fighters and season pass one. Introducing the rev system. I mean, 22 characters, not bad. It's, yeah. it's like a good. That's a good starting number. Yeah. And then I know, and 17 out of the 22 is like um, class, you know, returning. Yeah, they're your, your veterans. Yeah. Yeah. So why not? Classic series mechanics are back in full force. And then some. And then some. And then some, yeah. Perform flashy combos at the push of a button with a smart style control scheme. When you're ready to take on the world, jump online with crossplay and roll back netcode. You can even hone your skills against auto generated AI clones. Strive for supremacy in an all new RPG mode. Yeah, here's the the quote unquote world world tour quote unquote. And dominate the opposition on your way to the top. Customize character. I don't want to go on the way. <laughs> Color edit. Oh man, gotta love it. Favorite Fatal Fury songs in the jukebox. Create yes. And customize background music too. Fates intertwine on the streets of Southtown in the struggle for Geese's legacy. Rev it up! Your legend begins now! Fatal Fury, City of the Wolves. Coming April 24th, 2025. Pre-order now. Sir, it's pronounced shitty. <laughs> so yes, um, we do have the special edition, which also includes the season pass, which consists of five characters. Which will consist of five characters, so... Mm -hmm. Pretty uh, DC number. Uh, I see that, you know, it like it doesn't affect like the story mode or anything like that. So that's why they can take, yeah. uh, uh, they <clears throat> they can like add one more character at least. Unlike you know Street Fighter Six, which yes, not only adds a character but also adds something to World Tour, which is yeah. I mean that's cool for the people who still play World Tour. But yeah, unfortunately that does come at a price of having less characters per season pass. So. Yep. It, you know, it's like that trade-off. So, but here, at least uh, for Fatal Fury, you got a pretty good, decent amount of characters per season pass, which is five. Um, previously, I think in the past, it was like six or something. But yeah, five is, uh, I think, a pretty pretty good number. Um, obviously, you got the base game. Uh, and like the like the trailer said, uh, there, there are, there are going to be 22 characters at launch. And then as you yeah. pointed out, 17 are familiar faces. Rest of them are new blood or new new characters, and then I guess uh, uh, when you if you want to pre-order, uh, you do get the uh, Fatal Fury Two Terry costume, and then you have early access for uh, three days earlier, which will be playable from the twenty-first of April 
in 2025. Uh, this will be the digital digital version um, mm -hmm. for Fatal Fury. So, yeah. Yep. And then if we look at the pricing, yeah, sixty bucks. Sixty bucks. Yeah. Nothing. So sixty yeah. bucks. What's the season pass already? Mm -hmm. And then yeah. people are, because mm -hmm. I saw it during Max chat, like people are kind of arguing, like, oh, there's the, you know, just the base game without the season pass. And they went to Steam and no, 60 right there. Mm -hmm. 60 plus the uh, season pass. So I'm like, not really saying that they're confident, but this is actually like a nice breath of fresh air. Like, mm hmm. Because remember, if, if you're buying a base game plus a season pass, that's like what eighty bucks right there. Eighty to on the on the top, like the the edge of a hundred. Yeah. At times, yeah. <clears throat> so just seeing you know sixty plus a season pass, it's like wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. You're not breaking my wallet. Yeah, dude. It's like more yeah. breathing. Yeah. All the more, a little more, uh, all the all the little more incentive to get it, um, <clears throat> get you know, Fury, City of the Wolves, man, try it out, you know, give it a spin. Stylish, it's got cool, uh, pretty cool, cool, cool looking characters. Got some legacy, right? With uh, especially you know with Terry as of late, hey, Terry Terry's been like, like you know, on a lot of people's radars when it comes to fighting games. You know, a, a lot, a large part of that is thanks to like Smash Ultimate, including. Uh, Terry as a guest character, right? So that did definitely boost his yeah. sort of popularity up. Um, and then, you know, a little bit of a tangent, but, you know, um, Smash Brothers was partially inspired by the SNK fighting games or Fatal Fury slash uh, King of Fighters, you know, as Sakurai even said. Um, you know, whichever, you know, I, I think it might be more Fatal Fury, but yeah, um, either way. That's kind of that's kind of crazy to think about. Like, you would think, like, you know, uh, Street Fighter would be more of an inspiration, but um, the more "quote unquote" uh, sort of lesser known um, fighting game brand or franchise, uh, King of Fighters slash Fatal Fury, is kind of like the base basis for for Smash, which is kind of crazy, right? Like it's kind of you don't really put the two together until you hear from Sakurai himself, the man himself, and then. You know, especially with Terry, right? Like he, I think he really liked Terry, so you know, really goes to show like the significance and all that stuff, the 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 backing behind SNK in the first place. You know, they've been through history, like they've been through a little bit of everything, including bankruptcy at one point. Um, so they they've been getting kind of a a resurgence with fifteen, a little bit of Sam show, um, and but now with especially with. Fatal Fury, City of the Wolves. It looks like it's building up um, that sort of like hype uh, once again, and hopefully with this game um, looking pretty damn good, right? With those cell shading and everything, um, yeah. you know, I, I think this will be a bigger hit than Fifteen and uh, Sam Show, of course. You know, I think this will be the best uh, SNK game in the modern era yet. So. Yeah. Um. Any comments you wanted to throw in there for for Fatal Fury? Whoever's your art team, mm -hmm. knock on Capcom and Marvel store and say, "Hey, mm -hmm. let us do this. <laughs> let, mm -hmm. let, let us make the next Marvel game for you guys." It's interesting, right? Because it's like if they are gonna do, um, CBS three. What the hell will be the the art direction, right? Like, cause you already have Terry in the RE engine, so that's like a start. And then, and then, right at um, s sometime at some point, you'll have Mai Shinobu. Let's not forget, she's also in the game, which is crazy too. She she will be appearing in Street Fighter Six as a playable character. So you already have her in there as well. So they already have like two characters, you know, like already made in the RE engine. So it's like, hmm, right? Do you keep going with the RE engine, or do we just, do we? Do we um, stick with the whatever the SNK engine is? Is it Unreal Three? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what engine they're using. But um, are we sticking with that one? Like, uh, are we gonna like 
somehow pull off uh cell shading with the re engine i i don't know right it's yeah weird it'd be weird to uh kind of imagine like what will be what what will be the, a good art direction for that that's like literally a million dollar question yeah something to uh, definitely think about but um yeah either way i think it's looking uh better and better as more um stuff pops out for uh, or pops up for um Fido free i have i have a feeling like I, I like i have a feeling probably maybe when the, within the season pass some form of geese will be in there like whether it be nightmare geese or some sort of some sort of like shadow geese or something will pop up in there because i like come on like pe people want to play geese you know like yep. yeah especially for for the mechanics of uh, city of the wolves i'm sure they want to they want to have geese in there for sure i think even the, the devs want some sort of excuse to include geese in there somehow like are they, are they gonna go full like heihachi and be like fuck it man geese just never dies or something <laughs> somehow even though he like f was thrown out of a fucking building and shit <laughs> but hey i guess it's geese right uh okay so you the middle she she landed and um when geese was falling off the building uh-huh um it was in that right section mm -hmm. that he just fell through and he ended up in hollow hollow zero for a <laughs> while <Hollow zero>. <laughs> <laughs> And he became the next. He's actually the true boss for um the mountain lions. Oh, <laughs> oh man! <laughs> so whoever they sorry spoilers for Zen, Zenless, whoever they caught during that um uh special episode, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. that wasn't the that wasn't the true leader. Yeah, he's Jane, he, you he, fucked up. <laughs> he's just a, he's just a, a what do you call it, a puppet. Uh, what do you call it? Like a shadow figure, shadow uh, puppet figure. What do you call um, him? Tagemusha. <laughs> or he's the. Um, he was just the. Uh, a decoy, uh, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the decoy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. Geese is just like, ha. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Predictable. <laughs> pretty, much. pretty much. Pretty much. That would be pretty like. Like, what the fuck? That'd be the weirdest thing. That'd be the weirdest way to include a, a, a collaboration between uh, Zenless and um, whichever be like, you know, Fate of Fury or um, King of Fighters, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, we do have to, uh, we should remind ourselves that they had some sort of roundtable with uh, Street Fighter 6, of all things. So who knows what will come out out of that? You know, hopefully not just some cool conversation but they do actually something about it right like i don't know maybe playable characters right i mean i know the street fire but that's still city of the wolves will be a cool collaboration though i'm not gonna lie because of the whole city thing right sandless is definitely all about the city the urban life you know uh okay so the bit of a recap here um we already mentioned two of the points right uh base roster will have um oh is it 17 oh okay i see what's going on okay okay so that okay for some reason they include they uh have 22 22 uh characters being counted with the five dlc and then they have okay so so it's actually 17. the base roster is actually 17. okay 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 oh so it's the wording yeah the wording is a little little weird okay okay that's a little off there but at least the base game and the season one pass is all together 60 bucks. So that's 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 a plus, right? You know, you can think of it like, oh, Fate of Fury is a forty dollar game with a twenty dollar season pass, or um, thirty dollar game with a thirty dollar season pass. I don't know how you, how, you know how you know it's like it's like the the what do you call half 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 empty half full kind of perspective, or you know, and then you have. The pre-order bonus, like we already said, Fatal Fury 2, Terry, and then you have the three days early access. Platforms will be on PS4 and 5, see, Xbox Series X and S, uh, Steam, and the Epic Game Store. So, pretty good coverage there. Thank you, thank you for um, clarifying what 
EGS meant because mm-hmm. I was like eggs. Yeah, what eggs. The fuck is eggs. <laughs> eggs. <laughs> I mean, I want eggs now. Like, <laughs> hey man, I could go for, go for a good fried egg. You know, you know, fried egg or um a good um tamago, you know, sushi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No tamago, yeah. Mm-hmm. Good old, good old uh tamago sushi roll. <laughs> ah, fuck it, just. No, fuck it, let's go to, um, I think the shop is in Kyoto? Hmm. The, um, the Omurice, um guy. Oh, yeah, 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 the Omurice guy, yeah. That would like, be pretty I cool. Think... I sidetracked. <laughs> sidetracked. I do want to go to that shop before, you know, you know, knock on wood, he passes, because I want to oh, see my that God. Of him, yeah. him, you know, just having fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, speaking of fun, right, we got to see Terry. I think this is also during ga- uh, Gamescom, so yeah. Yeah. His game- yeah, Gamescom, because at EVO, um, it was just a... Uh, the teaser, teaser, yes. It was more cinematic, These but here... Yes. This is... Oh, yeah. Like right there, that was, a, that was a classic, like, hey, yes. you remember, remember this opening? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember this thing? Yeah, that, right here. Boom. <laughs> this frame right here. And in a taxi, that's also a reference. I'm still on a journey. Come get them. Traveling to new places, experiencing new things, meeting new faces, having good fights. Motherfuck. Yeah. Drink, eat, sleep, repeat. Seriously, it's a good life. I, I know it's not in Terry's character, but I kind of wish that Terry, like when he did a fake, Mm-hmm. He just like taps your yeah yeah, taps yeah. Your chin, like mm-hmm. they just like, a little play, just play, a little like, more next, next try. that little extra li- yeah the, yeah yeah he looks really good in Street Fighter Six the way he moves and stuff. You know when Terry does his um his heel kicks in the air? Oh, the, oh, the uh, yeah, 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 crack shoot, yeah. The crack shoot. <laughs> I kind of want to see Bison going like, hey. <laughs> that looks like mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is this is the kicks. Mm-hmm. The yeah. fucking um switch. Yeah. That if you go back a bit, holy crap, that that made my go. Like, oh, you gonna be abusing that shit mm-hmm. right there? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Go back up a little bit. Yeah. Oh wow, he's not. There's some Joe right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and there's the Garo costume. Yeah. Hi, Joe. <laughs> yep. Oh, and then there's Blue Mary. <laughs> yeah, Blue Mary, Blue Mary in the background, like that, right there, just like that. He's like, go, honey, kick his ass. <laughs> yeah. You got this, honey. <laughs> Power Geyser. He looks so sick. I do like the stage, mm-hmm. but in my heart. Oh, wait. Shh. How much flare? Yep. I kind of wish that his his own critical art. Yeah. When he when he punches you, right? You know, like how in Smash, when he does his own Smash attack, it's like one, it's like a one and two. Mm-hmm. I wish it was like that, like a one and then the the big blast. Mm-hmm. Like he's, you know cocking his arm like okay here comes the big one mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah 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 right uh i don't know if yeah, taste, it's, the, it's... taste the rainbow bitch yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah um also thank you capcom for getting luke his ass you know making it... luke get his ass kicked thank you mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah <laughs> i think the fr- yeah the first half of those can so yeah 
Which, again, like I think you pointed out last yeah. time, or someone pointed out, they should have had a special intro. Yes, the, the hat throw, the, yes. I, I definitely said that like during the uh yeah they they, they should have the teaser the, especially yeah. in the teaser I, fe- I i really felt like that should have been uh, the opportunity to have ken just throw the hat back like come on man or maybe in um um world tour mode because you know which i wish terry didn't catch his hat it was actually ken going and he's like hey well mm-hmm. hey i haven't seen you around mm-hmm. in a while it's like mm-hmm. oh mm-hmm super missed opportunity there during the evo um teaser for sure but yeah i mean like dude like he looks really sick and um in this game and then like the his outro or whatever the victory pose the victory is, pose. yeah it's like the cherry on top it's really cool you know which i do feel sorry for the people in that building oh <laughs> <laughs> Every- fucking, must must be panicking like the fuck is this? <laughs> hey, everywhere he goes, blue, yeah. blue Mary just sitting down, going like, mm-hmm. "Yes, why are you guys running? Mm-hmm. It's yeah. fine, <laughs> it's fine, <laughs> it's fine. He can pay for it, right, honey?" Like, yeah, <laughs> I think it's yeah. I think his face is still a little funky to me, but at this point, yeah, I'm kind of like, rough. yeah, a little rough, yeah. Hmm. It's a little funky still, but the fact yeah. that everything else makes up for it, like, I'm, like, yeah, it's still funky, but I'm, I'm definitely not, like, oh, my God, like, this is the most hideous thing, blah, 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 like, you know, at least that's not as much as before. It's, it's, it's because it's the, um, the shadowing. The shadowing. The I think it, it kind yeah. of, like, helps, helps, um, not yeah. hide. But, you know, just it, it, yeah, like we're super, we're we're definitely like used to more with Terry with the hat on or something. I think he, I think he's built to have the hat on a little more than anything. But um, yeah, you know, you get you, like people get it. It's Terry. He has he has that smile on his face. He has a big smile on his face in this in this game. But yeah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know the way he moves the his his uh actual like fighting animations and everything look really good even with, especially with the special moves and everything translating really well to like the more, more um, realistic side of things um not that this is his first time being thrown into a 3d type of game quote unquote um that already happened with like maximum impact and then uh um a little game called uh Oh, what was it? It was a fighting EX layer. That's what it was. Yes, for those who have forgotten, uh, that that's a game by the um guys, uh, who made Street Fighter, who who made uh, who made Street Fighter EX games, and then yeah, uh, yeah so that that's uh, Arika, right? That's the devs for that, and then they I believe so. It was yes, Arika. yes, Arika um even included, funny enough, Terry in their game as well. Which, I mean, I guess we can take a little comparison, if we will. Uh, oops. Fighting. Oh, um, What's up? Oh, let me come back. But it was a good um spot where you you paused it. Hmm. It might my head cannon. Yeah, they're they're playing Terry Steam. Mm-hmm. But a line looking at the setting, there, there's the band is playing um, "Woohoo" from um, Kill Bill. Oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Oh my goodness, Which was the most stupidest song ever. Mm-hmm. And it was more stupid. Like people were like, "What is that song from Kill Bill where they just sing woohoo?" Woo-hoo? No, no, no. I know that's the lyric, but but what is the what is the what is the song title? Uh huh. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I remember that song. Yeah, this, oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, look at Terry here, like man, this is this is funky. This is everyone. This is ter- no. Look at the one. Um, the right there. This one. So go up. No, up. Oh, this one. To- yeah. Oh, look man. at that. Like, oh, I've seen some shit, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah this one this i think this one looks 
a little funky. <laughs> For sure. Then them edibles are fucking hitting. Yeah, when the edibles start hitting. <laughs> oh man, these edibles aren't doing anything. And then, like, five minutes later, oh. You know, dude, these edibles ate shit. Yeah. I know the secrets of the universe. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I forgot how much, like, it, they had they had the the gall to, like, put the veins in his arms. And man, like, Jesus, look at the veins. <laughs> A little, a little too much vein to me, if you ask me, but... Yeah, this, this, I, this is a little more, quote-unquote, of, like, an anime style, but man, he looks kind of funky still. So, I don't know. I, I say this one's a little more friendly, in a sense. The Street Fighter Six Terry. You know? It's more in spirit of Terry, in my opinion. Whereas this one is more like... Like, it, this looks like a... Um, more like a doll, right? Like this is like a uh, one of those like figures you find in like those stores in Japan, you know, of Terry. <laughs> so what Hawk is trying to say, this was the late steps of um, Jump Force. <laughs> yeah, it's made made worse, yeah. <laughs> made worse. I don't know. How it kind of do it kind of does have that that. That, uh, what do you call the plastic? The, the plastic, plastic, yeah, um, like the airbrushing and stuff. It looks airbrushed, um, kind of look, yeah. I'm getting those sort of vibes, definitely. But here it's like, yeah, you know, this is this, this, this is Terry. This is me at cheeks. I mean, what, what, <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, uh, what? Ah, there it is again, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that that is a uh, South Town's ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, you know he looks great in this costume too. The Gar Garo um outfit for Terry. Oh, so give it up to the animators. Yes. The fucking hair physics right now is working. Yes. Oh yeah, so for sure. I wonder if some of them were like hand, you know, like probably ha like probably like adjusted to it um some point yeah, and adjusted yeah or it was like grouped first and then they had to yeah i'm not sure hand animate it yeah it's quite <laughs> that i can only imagine when they're hand um animating the hair they go like this with the mirror mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> i mean you also have to remember this is also physics based too the hair and all that yep. stuff so um the hair and yeah but and probably, also, like, yeah. muscle, the muscle tightening. The, yeah, muscle tones and all that stuff. The, you know, the thigh jiggle and everything. <laughs> I mean, come on. Even even Geef's muscles jiggle, man. So, you know. You know. His thigh and ass jiggles. Definitely, yes. And because they're in this cafe. Yes. I want to say location-wise. Uh-huh. It's probably in the same area as um that Chinese restaururant mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about pow pow cafe oh, fuck it. maybe yeah. this is in a, a metro not metro city um fucking south town he's over there, yeah, 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 right south town is uh is here all along <laughs> he is never. Uh, no, Gotham is like um, uh, what was it? The fucking Batman Superman movie. How far is Gotham? Uh huh. Right over there. Uh -huh, right. Like, what do you mean over there? It's like, right over, like, yeah, over the bridge. I mean, over the water. Really? <laughs> <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and then oh yeah. So was... You realize it's like you realize that. Okay, what was it? Was it Gotham? Or was it? Um, Metropolis was supposed to represent New York, and then oh, like, um, that's a good like question. Location wise, like, like I think there was like one. It was supposed to be like one in America. Like it's supposed to be like East and West. Yeah, that's hard to say because uh, Gotham kind of reminds me of like more of like Chicago at times, but yeah, you know, I don't know. It's hard it's to say. It's like yeah, it's not a hop and a skip. Yeah, to the, between those two cities. Yeah. Let's not forget, Joe Higashi is also in the stage too, in the background, along with uh, Blue Mary, who is <laughs> actually. Was like, was that, I was like, oh, yeah. have you seen my my uh, my apprentice yet? Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I like the uh, what do you call it, the stage interaction, like you know when people like jump or 
whatever, you know. Uh, I mean, right here, Blue Mary's not there. Oh yeah, because like, she's right like, there. But yeah. when you when you like move away, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Like doesn't she doesn't move along with the move. stage? But yeah. Oh, she might. Oh wait, she should I go back? It, it was like a fucking like, yeah, and, yeah, like a smidge. Brief. Brief like she second. was like right there on the side. Yeah. Like right yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, hold on. Yeah, yeah she, there you go. <laughs> yeah, she's she's not even looking at her mm -hmm. at her man. She's like eh. probably like on her phone or something, you know. <laughs> she, she she she's probably like and three, two, one, and win. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yes, Blue Mary is in fact drinking a Blue Mary, which is a drink, I think. Uh, that was made within the world or something. I I I don't know the story behind that one, but yeah, she's drinking herself. It, yes, essentially yes. <laughs> oh yeah, and then I, apparently this this whole sequence is all like reference to like the anime or whatever. So like the pose and everything, the this like all that stuff is from the anime. So they're taking like liberties of like showing their love for for Terry Bogard. So that's that's pretty cool. Which again, him punching the ground and then it's just erupting. I just feel sorry for those people. Yeah, in that for cafe. the for the cafe. Any 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 anywhere he goes, it's like ah oh, fuck. <laughs> it's like if he fights in a restaurant, off oh, fuck. You you know you're gonna be paying for the damages. Maybe that's why Blue Mary was walking out the door. It's like, mm -hmm. and I am I'm out gone. here. Yeah, I'm, I'm gone. I'm not paying for this. Uh huh. Right. Because he would be just turning around. It's like, honey, do we have? Where's the check? Oh? Yeah. <laughs> like that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's crazy to think that Bison's already out. Terry's like kind of soonish. Feels like, and then after Terry is my like, goddamn. And then the last character of all people is Elena. Who's coming in spring? Yeah. So, man, well, I wonder what she what she's gonna look like. That's gonna that's a that's a kicker, right? Probably probably like somewhere on those same lines of like Chun Li or something. Well, we'll see. I don't know. We will definitely see. And then same, yeah, of course, same, the same goes to uh, Elena as well. What the hell she's gonna look like actually in in game? But uh, yeah, I mean, again, um, pretty much anything relating to Fido Fury, Fido Fury is like looking good, you know. Terry, uh, in actual Fido Fury, Seed of the Wolves, Terry here, like, you know. Goddamn, the S and K fans are eating good, you know. Essentially, we got we got Fido Fury for next year, and then yeah, Terry, uh. Coming in in the fall ish for Street Fighter Six. It is a uh, it is banging. Oh so oh yeah so a good note is that I think you don't need to get Terry himself from the DLC in order to get the story and World Tour. I think the story and World Tour is like a free update. So even if you don't or if uh, even if you don't have like the season pass or whatever for this. Um, you 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 won't miss out on the additions for um, World Tour, so you're good there. If anyone who does actively play uh, World Tour a lot, but not quite um, are competitive, so to say, you know. So good on them for that, for sure. Um, I think that's something important to know. So you don't have to like pay like money just to have more stuff for um, World Tour. All right, so um, that is it for the fighting games. Uh, let's go into the frontline side of things, which, uh, yes, we will be talking about um, like games common and stuff like that. But uh, we'll get into we'll get into that for sure. So let's play this. All right. It is frontline time. So, uh, yeah. Um, Let's start off with something a little small and then we'll warm up to uh, the big one, right? So, um, Twitch, 
news on Twitch or news regarding the Twitch. Kamala Harris, right, running, trying to run for president um, for next year, is uh, now on Twitch. She has an account on on um, on Twitch here. I think the pizza man's here. My dog is like barking like crazy. <laughs> That's a sign. <laughs> That is a sign for me. Me here, bitch. Yeah, but I think someone should be getting that. Anyway, so anyway, um, Kamala Harris, yes, uh, presidential candidate for uh, the upcoming for the upcoming campaign, is on Twitch. So now, along with uh, the return of Trump on Twitch as well. Uh, but yeah, it's just like basically, um, you know. We're not going to see her play games or anything like that. Let's not expect that, but, um, like speeches and stuff like that. Like the, uh, I don't know if the convention, the recent convention they had was like the national democratic convention where you could call it, um, st we're streaming that on Twitch. I don't know, but I imagine any, uh, any more stuff like that. I imagine they will be streaming on Twitch. So, um, you know, in the case of not becoming president, you know, will will Harris continue to stream on Twitch, right? Like, what the hell is she gonna do? You know, <laughs> and now is, is she now gonna then then play games? Like, yeah, you know, I'm not pres I'm not vice president anymore, so I'm just gonna be a gamer. <laughs> be really funny. <laughs> She's gonna play Command and Conquer. <laughs> <laughs> imagine that. Imagine that. Right. Or um. Warhammer, just go play Warhammer. 40k, yeah, you know, right? <laughs> yeah, I did. Maybe she's a space marine, man. I don't know. <laughs> you know, she's all about the space marines. Maybe I don't know. Uh, what if she's just like a, um, you know, those like simulation games kind of like person? No, like uh, um, no, no, no. She she going. Her first game is going to be um, Don't Paro <laughs> Oh God, man! <laughs> where is she? Yeah, where, just going to be? <laughs> where is she? Like a total DJ and then just plays those like visual novel games. <laughs> and she forgot to turn off the uh, or turn on or yeah, turn off the uh stuff. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You know those those special scenes. Yes. The, the, yeah. The special. Did. The special scenes. Yes. <laughs> the filters, if you will. <laughs> yep. Streaming mode or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. That'd be. That'd be so funny. That'd be really funny, actually. And then, like, she's like, yeah, you know, trying to get that hus husband or whatever, or I mean, you know. <laughs> or fuck it, maybe she. She plays Zenless Zone or fucking Fake right, Go. Exactly. Was like, mostly, mostly all the <laughs> top tier, um, mm -hmm. top tier, yeah, <laughs> unit. Yeah, and we're just staring like, how? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, tries to get all the top tiers and everything. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, like, you know, she has like incredible stupid luck in F Go, but she has like the worst fucking luck somehow in like zenless zone or um genshin or something or you know those hoyo games even though their pity system is like a lot easier than f goes you know <laughs> that'd be really that'd be really hilarious at that point like and, and she just goes full full like just degen you know fuck it she not, goes full whale full yeah full whale yes exactly just full so just drops like thousands of dollars or something that'd be wild like I need this unit. Uh huh. Click. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, and FGO, no Phantasm Five. Let's go. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Uh. Uh. Oh yeah, and then, like in the uh, in Hoyo games. All right, full constellation. Oh yeah, full cinema. Full whatever. Let's go. <laughs> full everything. Yeah. Yep. Full all duplicate. Yeah, get those duplicates, man. <laughs> Get those dupes in in one go. Oh man! And that's when you just like stare and like, hmm. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Uh, I I, I see a robbery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like to report a robbery. 
Uh, can we can we have a a welfare check on Kamala Harris? <laughs> this is her address uh, somehow. Uh, it's like uh, how'd you get it? Can we can uh, we de can we dedox her from from the, oh, from the game? Jesus Christ! <laughs> She's winning too much. <laughs> winning too much. Winning too much. Hey man, you may, you may have not won the campaign, but you're winning here in the gotcha space. <laughs> People would like that either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, whatever, whatever the case may be, she is on Twitch. I guess she has an account on Twitch. All right. So next one. This is an update from the Disney uh lawsuit, right, with the allergy and and stuff. So last time, uh, the Disney lawyers were like, um, yeah. So because the what do you call um. The the person suing signed up for a one month uh free uh or one one month of free Disney Plus or whatever you call it. Um, this is void or whatever. Like the, uh, we are exempt from being uh from being sued or whatever because of blah 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 clauses and all that shit. Whatever. Yeah. Right. And obviously people did not like that. And then now Disney waived that. And um, they're gonna, I guess, go forward with this. They're gonna proceed with this with in, in court. Um, and I guess a quote from Disney says here, according to Culture Crave, it says, "At Disney, we strive to put humanity above other considerations." Yep, and then that's where people called bullshit. Cause yes, a few years ago, there was the um, a father that lost his son, and because of the Disney acquisition of Fox and. Mm -hmm. spider-man and stuff like disney pretty much said fuck you kid <laughs> pretty much yeah fuck you kid yeah pretty much right but here but back onto um the whole this one yeah it was pretty much like the whole like like you're 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 that friend that warned them going warned disney going like don't do this don't <laughs> don't don't be you know fucking dense mm-hmm all right good job so your pr stunt is an utter failure <laughs> yeah to say the least right <laughs> what <laughs> in what way did you think you guys were going to win from the general public right in the public in the court of public opinion yeah dude <laughs> yeah. maybe maybe they'll win so again, the, yeah the maybe they'll win the legal side of things but the the public opinion is like yeah you know the fuck is this yeah. also, it's also the uh, whole like the, it, again it, it came down to the lawyers it's like it's like you guys really it's like did you guys really graduate from law school mm-hmm mm -hmm. yeah this is doo doo baby <laughs> that's for, yeah yeah it is it is very uh pretty much very very much doo doo, say to say the least. That's man, that's that's just that's crazy that they go as far as like, oh yeah, fucking signing up uh Disney Plus man, like even though it's got nothing to do with uh the restaurant or allergies and food, uh safety, all that shit. Yeah, we're exempt from that shit. Somehow, you know, or Disney, it, the plaintiff, whatever term, is exempt from being sued or whatever the fuck <laughs> because he signed up for Disney Plus, which has nothing to do with food. <laughs> uh, but somehow it does, you know. See, if they're gonna say something about that, at least point where in that where in that says that they're exempt from that you know what i mean it's like yeah. like yeah it is ridiculous that it is in there but at least point point at where it is you know what i mean if they're if they're gonna go that far but we didn't even get to see like where exactly is the the clause and article whatever the fuck and all that nonsense like they they could have been making that up right because most of us aren't going to read that shit, you know? 
And because of the fact that they didn't even point to where it was, I can't help but think, yeah, that that could have been all made up. But because, yeah, I, we don't read that shit, which it's like, yeah, we should, we, we should, but we're not gonna because there's so much shit to read a lot of times, you know, and they know that. So that's why they probably like, you know, it's possible that they try to pull that stunt to avoid it. Right. But yep. it definitely, yeah. yeah. In my, uh, um, not shortcoming, but in my head, I, when I'm look, when you read the, you know, the, you know, fine print and stuff. Yeah. I just think of the, uh, that family guy, um, episode where, um, Peter got, uh, what was it? Scammed and mm -hmm. he went and he actually got a lawyer and then the lawyer is like reading out the, the terms and he's like, Something, something, and then it became, oh my god, he's signing it, he's signing it, look at this dumbass, he's signing it, he's signing it, we got him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, this whole, like, PR bullshit right here, we strive to put humanity above, above all other considerations, you know? It's like, yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's like, oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah, exactly. Right. On top of like all the other situations that, that are also going on with like the workers with uh, Disney World, right? And all that other stuff that they haven't re like, we haven't really seen updates for, you know, as well. It's, yeah. Disney Man is like, you know, that corporation, you know, it's like, again i'm going to point this out uh, but like you know basically basically what the boys have been kind of like portraying bought as that's like those corporations like disney for example try to cover up shit try to avoid any sort of lawsuit as much as possible because why money <laughs> yeah but um i i hope you know, for the the guy who lost his loved one due to a food allergy, right? That's that's like that's terrible. And you know, the guy was only asking for fifty fucking k, man. It's like, fuck. It's like, it's like bitch. You guys can make that in a fucking Heart, in a heartbeat. Yeah, like in a in a just in a day. Like uh, that's like that's like toilet paper to you guys, man. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Just buy that toilet paper off of uh, Amazon. That's how easy it is for you to make 50k, right? Like, it's, it's like nothing. But no, man, so you, you, gotta, you gotta keep every little little scent, I guess. You know? You just wind, but you just wind up tainting that image once again, right? All right. Uh, more kind of shitty things. Well, this is definitely shitty, but, um, yeah. Uh, yet another person of great talent has passed away. Uh, so this time around it is Atsuko Tanaka. Uh, Tanaka, uh, Tanaka, uh, is a voice actress or seiyu who provided the vo Japanese voice for Bayonetta, right? Um, the, you know, the Umber Witch and all that stuff. Um, Ghost in the Shell's Mokoto uh, Kusanagi, um, and, and like so many other characters, um, Fate, uh, from the Fate series, right? She voiced Media, mm -hmm, Carmilla, and Jin Ke, and, um, a number of characters, you know, so. Um, she passed away due to a, uh, an illness that they did, did not fully disclose of what exactly it was, but it's just, you know, an illness. And, um, let me see. Um, yeah, this was pretty recent. Yeah. August 20. Well, it was announced on August 20, but we don't know exactly when she will pass away, but yeah. 
um but probably probably august 20th but yeah um trying to trying to see how old she was um 62 uh yeah she was born in 62 excuse me uh so yeah 61 she was 61 years old so actually yeah i was kind of close anyway so and, um yeah and jojo she was lisa lisa um oh wow she was actually one of the villains in uh tales of rise right, i didn't even know that um yeah carmela right mokoto yeah for her most notable roles it is the major mm -hmm. from ghost of the show mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh oh yeah she oh she voiced uh trish and uh and eva and devil may cry oh, he's five anyway and then let me see Yeah, caster slash media, right? From the uh, Fate Stay Night series and all that stuff. Oh wow, two characters from Magellan, Hood and Turpitz. Um Kion or either that's Kane or uh Kayane or something to that uh extent from uh Cinevalis. Uh, oh, she was poison. She fired five. That I did not know either. She was Reina and uh, Yakuza. You know. Hmm. So you can definitely tell there's a lot of roles under her belt. Right. Lots and lots of characters she voiced throughout her years. You know. So sad to see, um, you know, once again, right, another voice actor um, passing away because it, it's almost, you know, again, it's like missing that uh, link with that uh, character. You know, you now now that it, it's that major part of that character is no longer there, right? You know, it's not the same when those characters get their voice actors replaced and stuff like that, for sure. Especially if that, uh, if that, uh, oh wow, she was actually Sheena in, um, Bloody Roar. Jeez. Damn. What game? No one knows that fucking game. Right, exactly, right. <laughs> uh, so, again, yeah. Oh my gosh, she was Ruby Heart. Oh my goodness. She was Ruby Heart in Marvelous Capcom 2. Oh, man. You know. I guess I guess it also goes far as far back as uh Gundam uh Mobile Suit uh Victory Gundam. Jeez. So deepest condolences to all her uh family and friends for sure, man. Yeah. Uh, was there anything you wanted to say uh, about Tanaka-san? Irreplaceable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Pretty definitely. Much. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure. Like a lot of people knew her from her days voicing um, Kusanagi from uh, Ghost in the Shell. So. Uh, and then, um, uh, I believe, wait, why is that there? Uh, that's weird. Okay. Um, so even Platinum Games themselves tweeted out, um, something regarding to Tanaka's, uh, passing. So it says, we are incredibly saddened to hear the passing of Ats uh, Atsuko Tanaka, who provided the Japanese voice of the, uh, the titular character in the Bayonetta series, we are extremely grateful to hear her 
uh for bre uh breathing life into the character of bayonetta and we uh and offer our deepest condolences to her loved ones at this difficult time so yeah and i forgot to point this out yeah she also voiced uh hanami in uh jujutsu kaisen so like that's like one of the mo most um recent roles for like a prolific uh anime series or just series in general so yeah so rest in peace man it's uh so, you know again you hate to see it the shadow remains cast that's that is uh that is for sure man <laughs> yep All right, so with that um, said and done, uh, let me let me check if that. Okay, so it looks like I was trying to like add it to the One Piece segment here because we're about to talk talk about some One Piece um, One live piece. action stuff. Yes, so this is like the official like sort of statement, quote unquote very hard to like sort of like read because it's just like a big body of text but um i guess this is a you know it's decorated with like these like uh artworks of the actors right for um the live action one piece by yours mm -hmm. truly uh oda san right h o oda yep. right um you, you have all the main actors of the straw hat crew you know in a tasteful fashion so uh yeah even even well i, I say inaki looks uh pretty like pretty good right because it actually looks like inaki right you know the actor for for luffy um so zawa if you don't mind um let me see yes. here we go yeah um i would say read halfway through it but like stop where it says um Bring this world to the screen if you can. So read from the beginning. Yeah, I was like, can you put your mouse like yeah, right, there. right there? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, I was like, yeah. All right. Kind of next to like Usopp's head, almost. Usopp looks fucking high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. The live action One Piece is currently in production with filming well underway. Mm -hmm. The story will cover Log Town, Reverse Mountain, aka Twin Cape, yeah. Whiskey Peaks, Little Garden, and Drum Island. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of fucking mini arcs. Yeah. And yeah, especially, <laughs> especially with Drum Island and uh, Whiskey Peak and Little, Little Garden. Like, Jesus, man. And, you know, because this is maybe an eight episode thing, like. Yeah. Are they squishing it? Are yeah. they squishing like anyways, think about it. Mm -hmm. Imagine how much it'll cost you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> yes. But whether it's the script or the the cast, I continue to insist on this or that, which makes Matt the showrunner. Is that is that his actual name or is that his title? <laughs> um I'm assuming that's. No, I'm, I'm just joking. I'm yeah. just joking. You know, like, <laughs> go, ah, okay. and next thing, go, no. <laughs> and tomorrow, studio, go, I'm just going to say, nani. <laughs> yeah. As they pull all their hairs out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I would too. Yes. Because again, that, that, again, that's too much already. Yeah, that's quite a bit. Oh, that even. Even though we grew so close making season one, mm -hmm. but it's because we all share the same passion for this show. Well, I was expecting like project, but yeah. yeah, just as with last season, they've gone out of their way to promise that they will that they won't put the show on show out until I'm satisfied. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at least you're getting the the creator out mm -hmm. out there. You know, just checking from point A to point B on yes. like um season eight of. Game of Thrones or something. Game of Thrones. Yeah. <laughs> yes. This isn't in the contract, you know. So it's like, yeah, it's in the contract, but they're showing like, hey, we don't want to fuck this up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
it's a verbal pledge. I, yeah. hope, I hope you can appreciate how how amazing and determined they are for keeping their word, and they they've certainly proven their ability to bring this world to the screen. Mm -hmm. Right. I just can't wait to see it. Meanwhile, the previous. Oh, okay. I can't wait to see it. Meanwhile, the previous announced cast is compiled on official X account, Twitter account. So go check it out. All right. So uh, reading the rest of it here, the Grand Line is even a more expansive world. You may wonder, what was the inspiration behind that kingdom? How would it connect mm -hmm. to the real world? <laughs> How would it connect to the real world? Naturally, the, the distinctive cast members have been assembled from around the world, and I can't help but get excited thinking about how the adventure has already begun. Among those yet to be announced, what about Vivi and all, uh, Miss All Sunday? Right, yeah. What are they doing with Chopper? Hmm, right. We can't announce everyone. He's <laughs> oh, no, they, 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 he's been, he's been Thanos snapped, like, out of existence. Nah, <laughs> nah. Okay, so uh, we can't announce everyone all at once, but starting tomorrow, right, which is already happening, yes, we'll be announcing more cast members over three days, August 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. Look out for those. Stay tuned for more exciting updates to come. Yeah. So, um, but yes, the first, what, uh, sentence or two or whatever already says quite a bit, right? So, like, it's going to be covering... Yeah. Log, you know, as you said, Log Town, Reverse Mountain, Whiskey Peak, Little Garden, and Drum Island. All in eight episodes. Like, oh my god, right? Jesus. Okay, so fucking like again, this this is a lot. And then Reverse mm. Mountain already. I'm gonna fucking cry. Yeah, that's that's the that's the episode with the whale, right? So man. Yeah, with Laboon. Laboon. So I'm gonna be like, oh shit, it's Laboon. I can imagine. Locktown getting one episode, yeah, Reverse Mountain getting one episode, and then like, uh, two for Whiskey to Peak, two for, no, maybe one for, uh, no, one for Little, little Whiskey Peak, excuse me, and then, uh, yeah. maybe one for Little Garden, and then two, f two for, uh, Drum Island or something, so that, yeah, I, yeah. I think that, I think that covers it, yeah, so, um, Unless yeah. they're, unless, you know, they're, they're nice and they give like that extra, that extra half episode. Mm hmm. Like, like, you know, like those episodes will be longer per, per thing or something. I don't, you know, right. That's always that possibility, right? Uh, but yeah, they're not covering Alabaster, right? That's all. Not yet. Not yet, <laughs> right? That's, I, I'm, I think that's all three, season three. Yeah, it's all which, season, which yeah. when you think about it, it, it should be yes. like its own season. Yes. Because Alabaster is not like a, a, a hop and a skip yeah. next adventure. It's yeah. like, no, yeah. that thing has some build up. Mm -hmm, for sure, for sure. And then also, they got to find the right guy to play um, Crocodile. Yes, that's all. Yes, yes. Right. Um, Speed Trail. <laughs> Danny Trejo, that would be really funny, actually. Um, yeah, instead of, instead of Crocodile's hook, it's a machete. Machete. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. You know what be really cool? You know how you know how when Crocodile was like about to lose, he pulls uh, he, uh, his hook breaks and stuff like that. Remember the poison yeah. hook? It broke. And then like he uh, replaced it with his knife, with a little knife. What if that instead mm -hmm. become that becomes a machete? <laughs> I wouldn't go past them. I'll be like, because if they did do that with Danny Trail, I'll be like, you know what? I accept this. Mm -hmm. Machete, yeah. <laughs> he just goes full machete mode. <laughs> yeah. And then, yes, this is a reminder. He's just, of he's just, mm -hmm. Yeah, Crocodile just starts swearing in Spanish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Uh, even though it's supposed to be like Italian or something. So, yeah. Yeah, he's supposed to be Italian. Or... For the most part, yeah. Um, but yes, this is a reminder of the casting for a number of for characters for this far. For now, yes. <laughs> We've talked about it before. Um, including, you know, um, Polka Dot Man playing, um, Mr. Three, right? That's a, that's like a, um, one of the big parts of the news, right? But... 
I don't know. I just want to know how um, Mr. Three, like, how are they going to do the three? Yeah, like, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, to be practical I imagine, or, yeah. Or, no, it, it has to be practical. It has to be practical. But, yeah. like, but uh, like how how practical like half ass <laughs> or like actually they actually got like someone to help sculpt it and... i think it would just be like an attachment or something like make it look like it's his hair but it's like they'll just attach it to his head or something <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm sure i'm sure they can pull that off kind of easily it, and then the fire the little the, the fire or something will be cgi or whatever so like like, like you know how he's supposed to be a candle so yeah the little yeah. fiery end will be a cgi oh that... i just now can imagine how the fx um uh studio you know because when mr three does his attacks yes it just gets everywhere so it's like <laughs> they're just crying like yeah how much of the screen is going to be covered in wax yeah that's right mm -hmm. that's right yeah, I wonder how 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 they're gonna do the wax. Like, is it gonna be like more like a like a like that whitish wax or like the more yellowish wax? Or, and I can imagine you know like the people commenting be like, oh, oh tee hee, you know, it looks like it's you know blah blah blah. <laughs> tee hee, it's all over uh, Nami's mouth or something like that. Oh like, god, I don't even. He's <laughs> like, get out, <laughs> uh, get out, you tourists. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you tourists. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a funny term right now. There's like the that new that new like well not new but like a new use for it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good insult though. It is for yeah. like people that they they think they know what they're talking about. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so speaking of the cast, right? They did announce more characters as of recent as they promised. Yeah. So yes. Katie Sagal, of all people, is yeah. playing Dr. Kureha. And for those who don't remember, right, back in the day, she is Peggy from Married with Children. Married Children. Yeah. Yes. And also, uh, she, yeah, Void. She got her second the Rise of star, Stardom, sorry, because you just made me have white hairs thinking of Mary and Children. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to give you white hairs. Mm -hmm. She's Captain Leela, everybody. Yes. Oh. From mm -hmm. Futurama, yes. Yeah, she pretty much like, yeah, kind of, kind of what you said, she kind of like a kind of like a second coming and coming of like uh yeah, she had a second win <laughs> second wind of fame and stuff yeah thanks to futurama yes but hey i mean uh, that's that's a big i i did not think about but i'm like hey that, i'll take it you know something we didn't know we needed but yeah nah, man <laughs> but see now because they show dr um her luck yes <sighs> Yeah, I think I recognize where uh, Mark is from, but I. It's funny because I... his name looks like her. Yeah, her Herlick. Yeah. <laughs> but I yeah. wish it was Ed O'Neill who played um, mm. Al Bundy. So it'd be like a fucking like. That a would mini be reunion. really funny. Yes, that would be really funny. I, I mean, I I think it could make it work too. Yeah, like in a way. Yeah. yeah. It would have. Um, this 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 person I'm not too familiar. So if there is anything on um, Mark Harlick, um, I, I do want to say. Um, there you go. Just want to make sure. So okay, so he was in. Okay. Maybe just go to the um, IDB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's just go there. <laughs> Credits. There we go. Uh, oh God, he was Lord. Lord who? Lord Rogers from. Oh, the Swan Princess. The Swan Princess. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> white hair, white hair. White yeah. Hair. Mother. Shit. <laughs> he was in the uh, Jurassic Park three. Hildebrand. Ben, ben Hildebrand. Okay. 2001, Jesus fuck, man. Even oh, that sounds old. Oh, yeah. Now I remember, yeah. He was God in Preacher. Preacher, oh, a very good series. Oh, okay. Uh, let me see. Grace and Frankie. Castle Rock. S. Gordon. Postures. Agent X. 
Okay. So yeah, you know, not too huge, but he has been in some familiar places like yeah, Big Bang Theory. Um Monk. Oh heroes. Monk. Heroes. heroes. Uh, oh okay, yeah, there's an officer. officer. Yeah. Prison break. Uh Bones. Yeah. Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, Grey's Anatomy, yes. House. House. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of like doctors and medical dramas. <laughs> Will and Grace, yes. Yeah. Well, we... now I'm thinking of um House. What character would Hugh Laurie be good to play as? Hmm. If they go, you know, like the other arcs and stuff. Oh man, that's a that is a good question. I was no he you know you know what he can play uh one of like the what do you call those the 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 the, the five elder stars or something um, <laughs> those those five d old dudes basically one of them oh the the five yeah the the five elder, the elder stars yeah. Um, I was gonna say you could probably be a um, one of the celestial dragons. Yeah, they're like yeah, any of those like old significant figures for sure. The old fucks, the old fucks, <laughs> the old rich fucks. You gotta you gotta add that in there too. The uh, jackasses. Yeah, yeah, much. yeah. The yeah, God. Anyway, um. So yeah, I mean, has has some yeah uh. uh Something under his belt for sure. Yeah. Interesting pick. Um for Herlick. This is gets where this is gets it, where it gets a little hairy apparently because um well first off, yeah, Cobra has been casted, even though Casted. they're not covering Alabasta, which means which yeah. It has to be some it sort looks of like flashback. It's gonna be yeah. a flashback or mm -hmm. it's gonna happen like at the last episode, but like that ten minute, like yeah, like um, a little teaser bit or something, or yeah, yeah. that ten minute um downtime mm -hmm. to just set up the next um season. Yes, basically, yeah, something to set up the season, something to like foreshadow it, you know, stuff like that. But yes, it's Sindel or Sindel uh, Ram Rama Murthy. Uh, I I'm kind of butchering that. I'm sorry. But um, yeah. there 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 was some sort of like con quote unquote controversy because uh, they're saying like oh this actor's Indian when he's supposed to be Egyptian slash Arabian or something like that I don't know so that I'm not like too heavy on that stuff but that's what I heard so yeah. um that's like a, that's like the only thing I guess that's coming out from this. Um, yeah, like people have yeah, been saying, like, wow, he, he's mm -hmm. like this and stuff. He's like, how do you know if he doesn't have like, you know, that maybe five, three percent. Right. You there. know, stuff like that. I don't know. I mean, even, even so, like, it's, I don't know. It's, it, uh, um, I'm not really sh like, sure. Like it, it, it comes down to like the, the social justice warriors saying that, oh, you need to find, you know, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. An Egyptian actor to play an Egyptian person. It's like, where were you guys? You know, when back in the day, fucking what the ten? Well, this is like the uh, what the sixties, seventies. Mm -hmm. They got like a. Uh, she's a good actress, but they got a you know a Caucasian woman playing Queen Cleopatra. Mm -hmm, in the movie mm -hmm. Cleopatra, so <laughs> yes, yes, right, and then yeah, same, kind of a same or similar situation here because you know, baby, daughter of um, Nefertari Cobra, right, yeah. um, saying kind of like the same stuff, but yeah. I mean, this is one a little less, I guess, because it is Vivi. She's more popular and stuff. So they'll just talk about like, oh, it's Vivi. It's Vivi. It's Vivi. Yeah. But, but 
yeah, okay, there's this one person that's like, oh, it's not a Arabian actress or whatever. You know? God, yes. I feel bad for the Arabs. Um, first versus Jasmine, now Vivi, you know? Um, it's like, I'm sorry, you guys weren't bitching about this back in the 90s where, where Prince Jasmine was, you know, voiced by like a different person and right. also in her singing voice. So it was like, why now? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Good, good question, right? Um, are people forgetting that Alabasta is, uh, was heavily inspired by India and Egypt? So it's like, yeah, it's like, it's hard to say. It's like, is it really all Arabian or is it, isn't it just like a mixture of like those things? It, 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 it kind of have those, has, has like those notes of, uh, you know, like the Genshin stuff, you know, where, where yeah. we're talking about like Natlin and all that stuff, you know, it has those sort of similar notes to it. It, where, um, in this case, um, Oda took a lot of stuff, right? But he didn't exactly like name, you know, like oh, it's it's just Saudi Arabia in one piece, you know. Yeah. That's stuff, you know what I mean. Like he, he just took inspiration to have the readers have like that sense of um, mm -hmm. not closure, but a sense of ease to go like, oh wow, this reminds me of this. Mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's like, not like, I think yeah. the only like shit he was really grounded on is like, okay, if you know, if um, the Straw Hats were from you know, the real world, yeah, Luffy was will be from Brazil, mm -hmm. Moro obviously from Japan, and all that. That that's where he was actually like cementing the ground. Like, yeah, this is this is where these characters are from. Right? Mm hmm. No, oh, someone's saying like this guy should be playing Crocodile. Okay, I can kind of, I can kind of see it, kind of see it, but he's wearing sunglasses, so it's kind of hard to say. But yeah, um, jokes on you. That's a that picture was um, captured um, at night. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Joe Mon uh, Mongini. Oh man, <laughs> man. Manginiano? <laughs> I'm, I'm super butchering that so so hard. He was in Magic Mike. Mm. Oh, he was Flash Thompson. Okay. In uh, the Sam Raimi Spider-Man. Okay. So I, didn't even, I, I didn't even recognize him because of the sunglasses, but yeah. Now that I see, now that, now that I look at him, yeah, I, okay, I can kind of see the the Flash Thompson thing. Uh, let me see. So yes, um, so let me see. Jomatinya. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it's Shari Sharitha Chandran. I'm yeah. Again, sorry for the uh, name butchering. It's playing Miss Wednesday. So, um, I mean, otherwise, like, like, just looking at the face, like I, I, I say it's like not not a bad pick for sure. You know, just face wise. Which again, it comes down to the makeup department. Yes, and the hairstyling. Hairstyling. I yeah. will be blown away if she went out of her way. To just dye her hair blue and just you know, mm -hmm. cut the middle man. Yeah. I think... And probably went, went yeah. up to um, Oda-san and just like show like the different um, hair dyes and going like, which one is more yeah. like towards Miss Wednesday's actual hair color? And you'd be like, that one. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Mm, right? Is she going to go full blue or is it like a dark blue? Is it like an actual, like full on like just sky blue or I don't know, right? Uh, or maybe maybe she'll go in between like kind of like highlights of blue or something maybe you know i don't know yeah uh yeah and then like yeah like the makeup and stuff that's definitely a, a factor in a play you know along with all the other actors and actresses too like um we really don't know how they kind of really look right Unless we look at the final product, so yeah. But, uh... Hmm. 
But Sindel here looks pretty young, so um but it's like that's like a um kind of like an Asian thing, so yeah, so you know it's hard it's hard to like unless again <laughs> unless again like this he's just a, a young cobra. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, like a flashback. A flash. Yeah. Yeah. Could be a flashback thing. Oh, she's talking, so hold on. Let me let me see um this clip right here. She's actually uh Hey guys, I am so excited to be joining the cast of One Piece and I feel incredibly grateful to Oda Sensei for trusting me with the role of Vivi. I know how much <laughs> she, she says Vivi. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and I am going to work It's like spoilers. It's like, yeah. it's like, it's like that. Hey guys. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, nice voice. I like the I like the voice, so yeah. I, I think overall, yeah, I think she's a pretty good pick. Um now it all depends. How good are you screaming at people? Yes, she does a lot of maybe does a lot of screaming, understandably so. Especially during <laughs> that scene. <laughs> screaming and then there's that one scene where she cut she broke she breaks down. Yes. Yeah. And then the iconic scene where everyone pretty much wants to see is, um, let's just say, you know, fist meets face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So pretty interesting of where they're going to go with it for season two, which is like, I figured as much when it comes when it came to like what the coverage is going to be like, but um, because I I didn't think Alabaster was going to be a no, not a no, no shot it was not going to be in season two at all, you know, no way. Because like you said, I think it, it, I think it deserves its own season really. At least I would say six episodes out of the eight for sure, because I would say or even seven, six or seven, right? Out of the eight, eight episodes, assuming that they will still go with the eight episode format, yeah. And then the, the last couple of episodes will be Jaya, right? Because Jaya is like a like a little small thing before they go to um, Skypea. Because what they be they meet Bellamy and then they up they have to upgrade the ship to in order to um go up. So that's like the only significant things that happen. Oh, and yeah, and then Luffy got um, his bounty up to, what, 100 million berries at that point. So, yeah, that's also another significant point. And then, oh, I mean, I guess if they want to include that part, too, where um, the seven warlords come together to have a meeting or whatever, along with the Marines. Yeah, you know, and then, oh, yeah, introduction of Whitebeard, you know. Okay, okay, maybe there are some other significant things that happen, <laughs> but yeah. Um, so, like, already this second season is going to be bloated as fuck. Yeah, jam packed. We're definitely going to have that same pacing that we uh, that we did get from season one. I'm afraid, but um, I don't know. Hopefully, they'll like cut out the necessary stuff or the the all the other unnecessary things that may be that, yeah it's like yeah it's cool in any anime but in the live action part is like all right it's not necessary but like um hopefully they'll cut out the right parts right yeah whereas they're kind of they're kind of like um in season one they're like glazing up kind of more on kaya than they did with usopp in a way you know kaya kind of got some like screen time more than i i expected Whereas I think Usopp should have gotten that sort of screen time, right? You know, and then um, uh, Sanji's part got a good amount of time too, you know. But these parts could have been further explored and stuff like that. So I don't know. I think the pacing will be uh, hit or miss, right? But hopefully, it'll do the job, you know, of covering uh, all the all the stuff that they mentioned, right? Which is uh, Log Town, Reverse Mountain, Whiskey Peak, Little Garden, and Drum Island. So, yeah. Um, okay. 
So that's pretty much all the new stuff that has happened uh, as of this recording. So I look forward to it. Yes, I had my criticisms for season one. Um, but I still look forward to it because it is one piece at the end of the day, you know? They're putting their love and attention to it. They're really making sure that like it it it, it gets all the check marks when it comes to one piece stuff, right? And Oda san is behind the project, so you know. All that stuff still. Um anything else you wanted to uh add? One piece as of right now, one one piece live action. Well, it's not more of an ad, it's a question. It's like, where are you yeah. going to stop um, Netflix? Yeah, that's yeah, that's a very good question, right? Where are you going to stop? And if they do go as far, which I don't know how they're going to go that far. Oh, shit, I just remember fucking... Season three, which is Alabasta. No, or maybe season two, if they play around with the with the timeline, we might see a glimpse of Ace. Yes. So just running running around in the background. I think I think in he, a yeah. in a flashback. I think Ace something got leaked about Ace or something. I don't I'm not sure it was a leak or someone just knows or it's just a big prediction or oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> Cover your head. You're like this with your headphones. So it's like wait a minute. Yo. I know I'm, like, I'm listening even more. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you. Oh wait. <laughs> yeah. Which is yeah, like cause there was a picture of like, oh, this is Ace and Luffy or something. I'm like, what? You know, like, did Ace get announced already? Like, I I'm, like, having some sort of, like, Mandela shit, you know? I feel like. Getting whipped. <laughs> Getting Game whiplash. Going like, huh, what? Yeah. So, yeah. I, I think, though, I think that there will be parts and bits and pieces of Ace throughout, um... What was it? I think it, I think it would be in Drum Island. Because uh, Drum he did show up on Drum Island at one point. Because he was like looking for Blackbeard, right? So, uh, yeah, he would, he would have, he would, he would have to show up because he, yes, again, he did, he did, um, he did show up there. I did also hear, right? It's just, um not official news yet. This is just like speculation stuff. That what's his face? Uh, Bartha Mello, if anyone remembers him from Dress Rosa, right? He's like the the one the um he's a, he's basically a simp for for luffy right big fan of luffy right yep he did show up during long town although that was retro re retrofitted into the scene or whatever during that flashback when luffy was about to get executed right by um uh buggy right and then you know he got struck by lightning um he was there apparently so um there's also a word that he he will also make an early appearance of that part, so uh, during Log Town, just like a, I'm pretty sure it would be like a very brief glimpse or something, and then even and and so like because Barthamel is like so far uh, um into the story after that, it's like who knows if that actor is gonna stick around, continuing to be Barthamel, so. Very interesting if that is true. So, um, I, but, but for now, yes, obviously take it with a grain of salt. Maybe even like, you know, tomorrow, as we record this, they'll probably announce something about Barth Mello. But for sure, Ace, right? A Ace is for sure probably has to be announced. Um, yeah. I'm sure like Ace will also appear by the end of season two as well as like a teaser. Like, hey, you know, like, um, you know, he, he, he's just like sailing on his boat. Remember, he has his own little boat, yep. you know, powered by his own fire. And so he'll probably be on there, right? Like um, staring at the, the bounty poster of Luffy or something and then smiles and that's about it or something. Um, not that he'll hunt down Luffy, but just like, you know, like, hey, Luffy's out there. Maybe I should look for him too, or something, along the way. So I kind of just want to see, 
you know, when Ace fully shows up. Yeah. I wanna know I wanna know how they're gonna make that scene. That iconic scene. Ace is just sitting at the bar and all of a sudden he just sees like someone, you know, Luffy and them flying towards mm. towards him just going to and yeah, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. With smoker and everything, right? Oh, that's the thing too. We haven't seen like an actual like updated look on Smoker. Right, right. He was only teased by yeah, the we, end we, of season one. So we, yeah, the tease, and we got the actor, but we don't see like him fully, you know, yes. in costume yet. Full yeah. in costume, yeah, right. And again, it's like, are you guys giving him his cigars or are we just going to four kids this? Uh, no, he, he'll have his cigars, I'm sure. He'll have his cigars. He has to have his cigars. For sure. They they, they know. They know. They gotta know. Uh, we, 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 hmm? <laughs> He's only gonna have one cigar and everyone will be like, where's his second one? Yeah. Like, bro, you want this actor to live, not fucking die from Mm-hmm. Um, lung cancer. Right. Maybe it would just be one fat cigar or something. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's just going to be one big ass roll, roll of blunt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not even cigars, just weed. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, man. it's just one big ass blunt. And then right behind him, it's just fucking Snoop Dogg going yeah. like that. And then, and then, yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Drop it, like, drop it like a top, man. You know? Uh, yeah, and then, you know, also the other question, right, like, what the hell are the giants gonna look like? Are they gonna be, super, like, actual giants, or just gonna be shrunk down for the sake of things? Same with, like, you know, all the other big characters, too, like, what about Whitebeard, you know? Yeah. Like, is he gonna be big, or is he just gonna be, like, a, just, like, a tall dude or something? Like, six foot nine or something like that, I, you know? I mean, with Garp, you know, Garp's supposed to be, like, fucking... That's kind of massive. Kind of tall. Body wise. Yeah, because yeah, Garp is. Let me see. Um, he is he's top heavy. <laughs> Garp he's, is top. Oh, he's heavy. nine five. I think. He, oh, okay. Damn. He's nine five. Jesus, dude. That's that's weird. Yeah, I thought he was like eight. Which, yeah, I think he was like eight feet well, or something. Also yeah. funny. I think Garp. Yeah, he is nine. Now I think about it, but he's short. He's short compared to the other tall characters. Like he's like oh, yeah. the shortest. Uh because I think um Kizaru like towers over him and he just goes, Oh uh, let's see. Oh, hold on, Slap. hold on, hold on, hold on. Um I think all the uh, well no, excuse me. Um I'll just click right here. Yeah, go down. Think, like, no, like, no. How tall is um is a uh, single? Sengoku, uh, Sengoku should be around almost 10, f- no, yeah, almost 10 okay. feet, right, because, let me see, well, Kizaru, let's just click on Kizaru. Yeah. How, how high you weigh, sir? <laughs> He's 9-11. <laughs> so, almost, almost, just the cusp of 10 feet, right? Um, what about, what about Akainu? Uh... Ten feet. He's flat ten. ten. <laughs> flat ten. Flat ten. Yes. And then, okay. I know he's not on here, but uh, where's uh Aokiji, or who's on? AK, I guess. But I think Kuzan is shorter. Is he shorter? Let me see. Oh, he's like yeah, nine he, nine. He yeah, he's a little shorter than yeah. Than Garpy. <laughs> No, Gar- well, Garp is 9.5, right? Yeah, he, yeah. so he is, so Kuzan is kind of short. Well, in comparison to his fellow admirals, but not, yeah. not by that much. But yeah, Garp, yeah, but yes, Garp is a little short compared to the admirals, yes. But he's fucking tall still. I thought he was like, at most 8 feet. But, uh, where's, um, where's Sengoku? I know yeah, he's like, like hello? What the hell is he? Because he's supposed to be uh, like. He's like. Should I go all the way down? Like. Um, oh, he's a, he's a, like, he, I think he's in a special category because he is special, a special or like he was like former, yeah. Yeah. Like, former. 
Uh, that's non-canon. That's a. Uh, that's weird. Maybe um, Control F and just put single. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's he's in there of all places. Okay, he is nine one. Oh, oh shit, you are short. <laughs> he is shorter than uh, Garb. I thought he would be like around the same height. Yeah, I thought he was taller, like yeah. just by an inch. I think I maybe. Well, I guess you know when he when he goes into his um a Buddha, you know, form. Buddha form. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> Everyone just goes like this. Yeah. <laughs> when they the, do the um the will and the full face. <laughs> <laughs> the Willem the fall. He's fucking built. Like he looks tall. Like he just he looks like he's not shorter than uh, Garb. He looks like he would be the same yeah. height at least. No, I guess not. But yeah, again though, he's um yeah in the show he's not massive. He's just like yeah, a in the taller... show in yeah. the show or in the show they. Like Garp and Sengoku look like they're just regular height, but then yeah. when you actually bring in freaking like Kuzan and Aikanu and Kizaru, they're like high. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I guess it's just anime, so the height stuff is pretty inconsistent at times, so yeah. But by numbers, yeah. It's, um am the am I thought I thought as much. The am the amorals are supposed to be ten around ten feet. But I didn't. I didn't. Again, I did not know Garb was that high, um, that tall. Cause I was gonna see. I was gonna. I was gonna check. Um, I I just like that that sentence. He raised both. Um, uh, and X Ray is. Yeah, like X Ray. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. ah. yeah. <laughs> like, mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just went. Mm hmm. One of your boys fucked up. Just yeah. to let you know. <laughs> right. And then let's just look at Luffy just just for reference. Um yeah, he's five nine. <laughs> he's five nine. <laughs> well fuck you too, Luffy. You're just some eight nine. You're just two inches taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like an well, inch, it, inch I'm like an inch or two taller than, than Luffy. <laughs> Fuck it. Let, let's see how tall fucking Brook is. <laughs> Brook? Brook is like seven feet, I think. Uh, well, he can get taller when um, Penties are involved. I guess. Pantis. <laughs> Pantis. 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 Yeah. Pants. Yeah. Pants. Yeah. Pants. Yeah. Um, oh, he's five. He's five. Or he's nine one. Excuse me. Oh, okay. so he's the same height as for Kingo. Um, Sengoku. Yeah. Okay. Yes. But for the is Frankie taller? Frankie is a little shorter. Uh oh yeah, he's significantly shorter actually. He's seven ten. I mean it, but if Frankie wanted to with his modification. Yes, he, he can he can mod himself to be taller taller for sure, yeah. And then the most recent one, yeah, most recent recruit, Jinbei. He's nine eleven, so yeah, he's right around Kizaru's or yeah, Kizaru's height. Yeah, Kizaru's. He's he's out of sight, and then if we go with um, fuck, what's her name? Not BB. <laughs> uh, which again, she should be already a um honorary. The Minx. Minx. Uh, oh, uh, like carrot I, or something? I already. Or? Yeah, carrot. Oh, and carrot should. Um, she's not. That's the thing I don't. I kind of don't like the non not non canon. They're just like members, but just like oh yeah, they're kind of like, it's kind of that's like a good weird friends. yeah, good, really good friends. Yeah, exactly. It's like a weird like gray area almost. Where's the uh the alliance? I mean, it's the same thing with uh with like Luffy saying like to um Momonosuke like hey. When you're old enough and you're not a fucking crybaby, <laughs> find us. And, yeah. And, I'll make you a, I'll make you a member of the crew. I was like, that's nice, but also kind of me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If he puts it like that, yeah. Where the fuck are the alliances? Fuck, man. Oh, there you go. Allies. There you go. Yeah. All right. They, yeah. There you go. The Ming Alliance. 
There we go. The Minx Alliance, the um, Fishman Alliance with a uh, Shirohoshi. Oh, fucking Shirohoshi. Yeah. About how big that that woman is. Yeah. That's a big bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's a huge bitch. That's a huge bitch, yeah. Oh, god damn it. You gotta go even further. God damn it. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Fucking dig. There we go, Carrot. Hi, Carrot. Carrot is 5'3. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. She 5'3, but in the anime, they make her look tall. Yeah, she does. She do yeah. Even it, when she goes into her um, the, the beast form. The it? beast form, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Which, again, I, I don't know if you're caught up with the anime. I mean, I'm caught up in the that, manga, that, but yeah, but... That, 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 that. Is I um just gonna say Bebo, Bebo, you you're almost at that same level of like I like you. Mm -hmm. You're not there with Chopper, but you're you're getting there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So for people who don't know what's happening, that bear did something great. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> that, that's where you you pet him on the head and go like. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And uh, yeah, uh, yeah, like, yeah, carrot should be in already, like an honorary. Honorary, yeah, yeah. I mean, same thing with you know, well, with Mononosuke, he he needs to grow up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, they they didn't. Uh, okay, they didn't. They didn't. They, uh, they didn't put the old doll his... height. Yeah. 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 Ooh. <laughs> Cry. Law is um oh he's six three okay he's like a normal dude <laughs> pretty much six three where's uh where's kid um uses kid yeah I don't think kids should be in the sevens right yeah yeah he's seven. almost he's almost seven feet yeah yeah you're close you're close it's just that again he's more um top heavy yeah he's yeah. A lot of one it's one piece man there's a lot of top heavy people <laughs> a lot just just for funsies this for just for funsies i want to look up the white beard <laughs> white beard huge bitch <laughs> huge he's huge i think he's like 23 feet or something oh, hold on let me see oh yeah 21 yeah 21 jesus i like the centimeters <laughs> yeah six 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 triples <laughs> Jesus, like, man. Jesus Christ. Damn, Oda. You don't think that would be black? Mm -hmm. You think black that would be black beer type? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, he's 21 feet. Almost 22, actually. Almost 22 feet. I still love that. The, you know, that scene of um, Luffy pretty much talking, talking, um, not talking down to Whitebeard, but just saying, hey, fuck you, I'm going to save my son. It's like, yeah. everyone's like, you're it's more. Right it's more like. To... It's more like he's propping himself up to Whitebeard. It's. Yeah. It's more like the the situation. Yeah. yeah. But you you know that right? Whitebeard's like, damn, this kid has balls. Yeah. I like you. What? Whitebeard is twice as short as White. Or no, Blackbeard is twice as short Black as Blackbeard. I was like, you're like Whitebeard is twice as short as Whitebeard. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. My bad. Blackbeard is um half the height as Whitebeard. So. 11-3, to be exact. Interesting. I really want to know how Oda is going to write the downfall of him. Yeah, I know, right? Jeez. That's going to be really like, interesting. It better not be like a fucking slap on the wrist. It's like, no, this guy needs to be like brutally like taught a lesson. Yes. I think he needs a little something a little more special. All right. All right, so like, enough about yeah. yeah. Let, let, you let, know, One Piece. Mm. See, see what happens when One Piece fans go 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 at it. Yeah, right. <laughs> you go zoom, zoom, zoom in the lore. Yeah. Okay, so basically, yeah, that's that's pretty much like the gist of that. So I think we covered everything else. Let me just make sure we don't miss out on everything else. Um. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. 
All right, we covered that stuff. Okay, we're good. So now, Gamescom. That's the other big segment I wanted, that wanted to definitely cover. So, yes. Um, let's just go through this stuff with uh, Wario64's thread. Um, David Diver collab, right? Sniper Elite Resistance. Man, they're still making these games. That's surprising, actually. Um, Begone Beast. The last time I played a Cyber Elite, Sniper Elite? Yeah. It was like back in early 2000. 2000? Wait, what, when was the first Sniper Elite? Hold on. Sorry, a no. little bit of tangent, but yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. 05. Yeah. Yeah, 05. Jesus, yeah. man. Yeah. So it wasn't 05. Yeah, that one. 2013's one. Oh. Okay. That's the one I, I played because I remember I was, I had it, I was playing out my cousin's computer. Mm, okay, okay, gotcha. Okay. Uh, Roadcraft. Okay. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to like plow through these. Yes, uh, yeah. I, I do, I am interested if we go up a bit. Which one? In that one. Kai, Kai Iron? And... I okay. just like the art style. Yeah. It, okay. That one. It, this one it, looks. It's, it's pleasing to me. Yeah. It looks a little more interesting than the other stuff. Okay. Okay. Like that... for visual stuff, because mm -hmm. I. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I do like the some of the realistic and hyper realistic. Um. You know. Yeah. Art styles in some games, but when it comes to like art styles like this, this is like a, actually more. Appealing, cause yes. It reminds me of watercolor, and mm, that's yeah, yeah, my yeah. favorite medium. It definitely has that the uh, vibe to it. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. I think it does have some sort. Of, yeah, if you, especially if you look at the foliage, right? Like, look, look at the foliage. Yeah. It's like looks like it's hand drawn or something. It's hand drawn, or it, it reminds me a little bit of a um, fucking paper of Mario. Like it's yeah. like paper, you it's know, those that, paper little stuff. It's got that cartoony vibe to it, you know, almost. Okay. So that okay, yeah, that looks uh, a little more interesting. Um, what the heck is Inzoi? What is this all about? It's like a weird title, and it's like I don't know. It's got some stuff. It looks like was, Sims. It's, it's like Sims. Sims. It's got like cars in it. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, character stu. Oh, okay. So I guess it's like a like a what, what like what is this some sort of like OC shit like some, uh you put your OC through like oh it you know what this reminds me of remember back in the fucking day like PS3 mm. PS3 fucking timeline they had that PSN world that you oh, made your oh my god you're right you're right wow okay. yep <laughs> I was like. Did I? Yeah, yep, there it is. White hair. White hair, motherfucker. You know what, and you know what's funny? I think I remember having the king uh, mask. Like, you know, the leopard, the, the jaguar head. I think yeah. because uh, one of the one of the Tekken games offered some sort of like thing or something. I forget what, what it was. What was it called? Yeah. What was world called like PSN. It was like PlayStation 3 PSN World, something like that. World. Oops. Oh, home. home. Yeah, home. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow. When did it launch? So I so I can get more fucking gray hair. Um, oh eight. Oh eight. Oh wow. That's oh, when. We, fuck. Yeah, I was that's like, when we graduated. Well, a few years, a few months after we graduated. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Starting college, ending high school. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. April Jesus. 15, it ended on April 15th. April 1st. April 1st. <laughs> oh, yeah. days. Right. Oh, well, where was I? Oh, I was fucking work, still working at um GameStop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. That's a shame. Should have, uh, no they should have, they should have, I don't know. They should have kept going with this a little further. I don't know. But yeah, very obscure memory of your that you were able to remember that shit. Okay, so Inzo from from just looking at the uh, screenshots, I was like, hey, this is like something that was done before. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's been done before. It's just, you know, how further you want to take it. So apparently, according to this, it's an upcoming realistic life simulation of, uh, released on PC. So it's like, yeah, basically it's like Sims, but like, like expanded upon. Yeah, but is this a single, single player or is this um, multiplayer? Good question. Let me see. Is this, this is also reminding me of that other like um uh other game kind of well it's not a game it's like a social stuff mm. oh my god oh it's, oh it's single player okay so it's not online okay. i don't think yeah why are you looking up the, yeah. on that this is from crafton which is uh the same people who have worked on if not um are involved with um PUBG, if anyone remembers that game, which is a mm. battle royale uh, shooter before uh, Fortnite got really popular. Um, so yeah, that's what Inzoi is. Okay. Tribe 9, Directive 8020. Uh, oh yeah, Terry Bogart for Street Fighter 6. We covered that. Oh yes. Okay, so Borderlands 4 got announced so we only see the, the 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 mask and stuff that one's slated to come out next year so 2025 i'm i'm definitely excited for that because i i do like I, I still do like borderlands to an extent so i am kind of interested with that um so i think think yeah i think this may be just like a, a cinematic teaser thing so i don't know if this is like in game or not but if that if this is in game holy shit that would be pretty good but we'll see black ops 6 video game where you could take photos okay that's kind of different oh <laughs> that's really weird <laughs> they have a real picture of bill clinton just right there on the thing for call of duty that's funny <laughs> who's your daddy yeah I do not have sexual <laughs> sexual relations <laughs> with that woman. With that woman. Yeah. One week later, I did have yeah. a sexual relationship with that woman. Yep. So it looks like uh, with Black Ops Six, it's taking more of like a James Bond approach. It's like spies and stuff. Kind of interesting. A lot of a lot of picture taking. Ah, that was the fucking other sim that. I, I don't know if it's still going or it just evolved into the VR thing that's on uh on um Facebook? Steam. Oh Steam. Okay. Second Life. Oh okay. Second Life. Huh. Wonder if it's still going. Uh initial release day 03. Holy shit, that's even older. Yeah. Like, um server. Not sure really stable release. Uh, looks like it's still going, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's still going, but yeah, so second second life, everyone just another it's I I wanna say second life and the PlayStation Home kinda was like a small maybe a um subconscious in um subconscious uh, influence to make mm -hmm. the um enjoy. Enjoy, yeah. Okay, but for the for a second for second life uh, how i knew of it was some of the um, artists that i follow oh yes most of them are um furry artists they <laughs> made their furry characters in second life mm. to which i believe there were like some things in here that cost real money oh okay. or some people like will sell it for real money and stuff like that yeah um but yeah okay okay interesting goat simulator remastered uh oh okay so this is like dlc for persona 3 reload which is episode ideas um dying light the beast king of meat beast. uh that what is that some sort of like arena fighter some stuff okay i'm gonna beat my Mult meat in this yeah. arena <laughs> right linked um oh, okay looks like some sort of like oh uh top down what do you call those strategic strategic uh games looks like um lost records 
No more room in hell. Uh, Arc Raiders. Infinity, inf uh, Infinity Nikki, which I believe we t uh, saw this last yeah. time in another show. Uh, there was like Summer Games mm -hmm. Best. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like like RPG stuff. Path of Exile. Dune Awakening, which... Okay. Huh. Could potentially be fun for those uh, Dune fans. Re-Animal. Of course, we got Genshin Impact coming to Xbox. That was a kind of a big announcement because it wasn't uh, there for long-ass time until um, this was announced. It's so funny. Look at look at this. Like, it's, it's the fucking <laughs> the fucking Xbox logo. <laughs> They're like, oh, look at this. <laughs> That's uh. What Nah. Is this? What is this thingy? Yes. That's uh Nahida. That's the. Uh, Archon for Sumeru or uh yeah like goddess or whatever. Um, that's Sino. Imagine. He, mm, go ahead. Yeah, the Archon is like that. Mm -hmm. And it's green, right? To yes. say it's on. Yes. All of a sudden, it turns red. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh. Mm -hmm. Your Xbox is now dead, sir. Yeah. Oh my god! Like the ring, the red ring of death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like congratulations. Yeah. I was gonna say, uh, the, the the guy on the right is Sino. He's like the general, uh, uh, for Samara ish. He kind of he kind of is like a general, but he's highly regarded because he's like really strong and stuff. So, um, high ranking member, and uh, but outside of work, he's a huge dork because he loves playing uh the TCG within the within the world of Genshin. Um, so yeah, he's he's, he's like that huge dork he likes to make jokes and it's like really bad too like really bad jokes but he tries to be funny and stuff like that so he's like he, he's like that serious but kind of a goofball like kind of trope you know he's super serious when he's working but he's like super like a goofball outside in his own dry way and then um let's see oh yeah Monster Hunter Wilds, right? That's been getting a lot of hype too. Uh, and a lot of tourists. And a lot of tourists. Um, oh yeah. Okay, so um, I guess we can we can kind of talk about it here, but like, uh, isn't isn't it involved with like the male and female outfits that they, they, they let you like yeah, wear? So, yeah. So the tourists are just being stupid saying that oh it's no longer gender law go the fucking it's capcom is ruining it's like what if i mine i wanted my male guy to fucking wear the most uh, the slutty ass kieran mm -hmm. um costume that only the females were able to wear and right you know there are some um female and male um players that do have female characters Sometimes they don't want to see skin. They want to see like a fully like mm -hmm. covered up woman in a yeah, like you know, like knight armor, armor yeah. Just, yeah, just going like walking up to a monster, going like, "Sup?" Mm -hmm. Right, like it's always like it's, right it's, it's kind of like stereotyping, like oh, the women have to be scanty or like uh, showing skin, and then the males have to be all like cladded up and like no skin showing, yeah. and yeah, all that stuff, right? For the most part like it, that that's a, it's kind of like a stereotype almost where now here it's like now you, all right you have free reign you have options you know whatever right like it's like why get why get all like prissy about it like why get all like mad about it you know i mean i, I don't know that's like my opinion on that you know um okay and then yeah city uh, fatal fury city of the wolves stuff we already talked about that definitely um civilization uh seven will be out on february update for um starfield which is uh give, it gives you like some sort of like rover vehicle type of thing marvel rivals is coming to december which um yeah announced more characters obviously and then um uh, so now we have the cap biggest thing yes right right yep. there oh who's who's it who's, who's a shark 
person thing. What, what? Okay, Jeff the shark, such a cute little bundle of joy. Mm -hmm. It's just land shark having fun. Mm. Pretty much, um, if you read us, uh, um, Gwenpool or yeah, Gwenpool's um stuff. Mm -hmm. Pretty much like her uh, pet. Not really official pet, but Jeff feels more comfortable with um Gwenpool. Mm, okay. So we got um, but yet we we're getting all these characters mm -hmm. and more. Yes. Oh more? Oh wow. Because right there, all heroes unlock and free to play at launch and beyond. Oh yeah, you don't have to like fucking grind and shit to yep. get all the characters. So this is kind of following so what I'm thinking is that they're gonna it's gonna be a base price game, you know, like maybe fifty, forty bucks. Mm-hmm. And semi semi follow what Smite does. So what Smite is, it's a free game. Mm -hmm. And yes, you can buy the care um the gods, you know, like individually, but if you pay like well in Smite one, you pay twenty bucks. And it's pretty much like for the rest of the the life of Smite, mm -hmm. every new god is for free. You get it, you know, for free, and you just drop a twenty. And I see. It. You forget about it. Okay. Here, wow. it's pretty much doing that. That you know, cutting the middle of the man. It's like, hey, fuck it. Mm -hmm. So, to which I hope they they you know stick to this type of like mentality or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, the the structure. And the only thing yeah. They, they they charge you is just the season pass. You know, if you want to like move up levels or you know yeah do, do like yeah like you see yeah like do, costumes do like yeah yeah do it like fortnite mm -hmm. pay ten dollars you um you know you get the first free 10 pay 20 you get up to 25 yes. and like a, another another thank you or you know something like that mm -hmm. yeah so looks like we are um, yeah mm -hmm. go ahead but now is this a overwatch killer Maybe. I I think if they, yeah. If they do the structures correctly. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We definitely have to like kind of, eh. You know, like I know people. I know why people are calling it Overwatch Killer and all that stuff. But you know, you really have to see it. You know, kind of like run it's, its course, yeah. right? Uh, see how they do the battle pass and all the microtransactions all that stuff so we have to see how they are going to be generous right quote unquote what are they going to do with events um more skins you know more characters how are they going to do the characters the balancing you know um all that stuff you know all the online structure too like how the matchmaking is going to be like how the rank mode is going to be like a lot of things a lot of things so but the fact that it does play like Overwatch, it's got all the stuff that you know Overwatch should have but doesn't, right? Like a lot of like the destruction, destructive environments. Um, yeah, not to mention, yeah, you got characters that are very recognizable, very familiar, right? Very popular, you know, Marvel, right? It's it's Marvel, right? I I I think it does have what it takes, so definitely to quote unquote kill Overwatch. But will it be like slated to be like the Overwatch killer? I don't know about that, but um, we'll see. We'll definitely see. Okay, so uh, let me see what this is all about. Secret level series, fifteen original episodes with collabs. Not sure what this is all about. Um, hmm. Secret level. Looks like it's some sort of series on Prime Video. Uh, I'm not sure about that. There's Towerborn. Uh, Batman Arkham Shadow. Which is just a uh, yeah, VR game. Um, with an update, it looks like. Or Quest 3 exclusive. Hmm. Okay, anyway. No, I think it's a new VR game. Okay, never mind. Little Nightmares 3 from Supermassive, which um, looks kind of interesting. Just from these screenshots. Hurdling. Peter Molyneux was on stage, apparently. Okay, he talks about masses of uh, 
Albion. Uh, looks like it is, well, one, self-funded, I guess. Team of 20 people. Taking ideas from Dungeon Keeper, Black and White, and Fable. You can play God uh, mode or take control of a character during action. Okay, interesting. So you can kind of be, switch between like a strategy game or some form of character action game. To an extent, it may be. Mm -hmm. Squid Game Unleashed from Netflix Games. This just like kind of looks like, mm -hmm. I don't know, like a mobile game-ish. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, Unknown Nine Awakening. Okay. Arena Breakout inf uh, Infinite. Hmm. Uh, an announcement of announcement of basically uh, saying that they have they'll have like a Warcraft Direct show. So we'll see more on Warcraft apparently later on. First Berserker Kazan. Huh. Okay. Some sort of uh anime esque action game coming out early twenty twenty five. Floatopia, life sim game, another sim game, right? <laughs> Looks okay. This was a little interesting. It's got that like that uh, sort of like a uh, almost like a toyish effect, right? Because you got like the heavy, heavy bokeh effect or depth of field. Got these little 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 characters, right? Yeah. Gather your friends. Okay. Life sim game. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. Okay, so this is... I heard stuff about this game too. Like, controversies. Because this was supposed to be an Xbox game, right? But it says right here, it's coming out on PS5. So now are people like, Oh, Xbox is dead. Xbox is dead. Oh, why, 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 uh, why, why own an Xbox at this point? Blah, blah, blah. So, I don't know. Um... As someone who does not have an Xbox and has a PC and all that stuff, I I don't know. I have not. I've never been considered myself like an Xbox boy or anything like that, so I can't really say much on it. But I I kind of understand the sort of emotions behind it. But I don't know. Um, what about you? Like when they announced like yeah, Indiana Jones being on PS Five and stuff. Like, was there anything you felt from this at all? Right, just a little well, shrug, like the. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm going. Well, at the moment, well, when it wasn't like announced for it, or like PS Five, I'm just thinking of the uh, echo chamber people going like PS Five don't have games, like uh huh, right. Sure. Uh, we'll survive, like just like how you Xbox um owners you guys survived right with with some some stuff that was only for ps playstation and nintendo so we'll calm down right i don't know i mean i kind of see sort of both sides to it it's like yeah like like okay if i were to own some consoles right you know what would it be for me, it's the Switch. After that, right, you kind of want to stick with one or the other when it comes to P P PlayStation and Xbox. Yep. You know, it's like, ah. for me, at the end of the day, it will, be, it will be PlayStation just because I see the more exclusives that are like on my own, on my own spectrum, yep. right? Like, uh, and, then, uh, and then, you know, like the fact that a lot of these games on Xbox are already on PC anyway, so it's no point for me to get an Xbox for that, right? Because PCs are already getting most of that stuff anyway, right? So that's why people are 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 kind of going out the way and saying like, "Oh, Xbox is dead. Oh, Xbox is dead." You know, that's that type of stuff, right? Yeah. 
I think there are only very few Xbox exclusives, and that includes um, Gears, you know, Gears of War. I think that's the only one I can think of right on top of my head. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. It's again, I do understand because you know, if I, if from my perspective, would I get an Xbox? Like, would I have regretted getting an Xbox? Probably, you know. Right, because it's like why there there's no real incentive for me to get an Xbox. And on top of that, right, the games that do come out for it either come out like in a poor state, they're pretty mid, or they don't perform like they were advertised, right? Because it's supposed to be like the X the Series X is supposed to be like the big boy Xbox, right? Yeah. But a lot of those games perform at thirty frames per second instead of sixty frames per second. So it's like that's like a that's like one more nail in the coffin as to why there is less incentive to get an xbox so that's why there's like that whole sort of uh situation going on so yeah yeah all right but uh anyways mafia i guess was the last game that was uh to be revealed or at least one of them and then yeah that's uh that's it for for that so I guess there was nothing else that came out from the opening night. That's kind of strange. I thought they were going to be like, oh, yeah, opening night. Oh, yeah, day, day one, day two, day three or whatever. But I guess they just revealed everything for day, uh, opening night. And then for the rest of it, I guess they either expanded upon each game or that's it. You know, uh, I guess the rest of those days are, are, are just um, the, conven- the convention. Right. I guess. Yep. Mm hmm. For those people who are there, right, you know, right, to check out, check out those games. So I guess that's how it works, for at least for Gamescom anyway. So that's it. That's it for the major stuff. Um, was there like anything from Gamescom that that was like, uh, besides uh, what was that game uh, they were just talking about, like Kern, Kyron, right, the mountain, that mountain climbing game. Uh, was there anything else that uh, stuck out to you, like ooh, like I- I'm interested in this? piece or game or whatever uh besides the mountain climbing one um yeah yeah the marvel rivals yeah marvel um, rivals yeah mm-hmm. i wish there was oh yeah but well, borderlands 4 more like borderlands 4 I want to know where they're going with it now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They haven't really um, talked. About, it's just a teaser, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, I wish, even though it's not going to happen. Square, kind of, it showed a little bit of um, uh, what's it called? Uh, it's it's a game that I believe it's it's um it's a myth. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Four, but you know, the, no. I think it's a myth. <laughs> Man, man, just just throw us a freaking bone here. Yeah, show <laughs> throws a freaking bone here. <laughs> I feel like those games always look like they're vi- gonna be like, oh my god, it's gonna be like a huge game, huge an- anticipation. Look at all these characters, Disney, whatever, right? But when you actually like play the game, it's kind of like it's like, all right, it's like a pretty regular ass action game rpg all right go through the, go through the motions you know like you know you know what i mean like it's like that 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 like uh there's a lot of marketing i think that's what it is it's like a lot of glazing all right as a lot of people like to say um trying to make it out to be bigger than than it actually is right so there's that like sort of that pretentious thing behind that um, I don't know. That's how I kind of feel about these, uh, the, the Kino Hearts games. It's like, like, yeah, the, the, the cinematics and all that stuff look cool and all that stuff, but the actual game of itself is like very, you know, I don't want to say run of the mill, but it's like, mm, it doesn't match the gravitas. It doesn't match like the, 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 um, they're grandiose, right? Of what they're making it out to be to to me anyway. That's this is my um two cents on that, my perspective on that. I mean, you know, 
Do, do, do you know what I mean? Do, do, do you know what I'm yeah. trying to say? Yeah. Yeah. Especially especially when you're platforming around those Kingdom Hearts games. It, it is like hit or miss. Literally. You, you don't know if you're going to... You're, you're going to land on that platform. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah, you're, you're, the, the fucking float mm -hmm. animation looks like... I'm going to hit it. Mm -hmm. I, think, uh, I see. <laughs> Yeah, it's got that. It definitely has that the the, the Nippon like jank behind that. You know those games, right? So they always count on like they try to always count on the character designs, the art around it, the cinematic cutscenes, and all the talking and all that stuff to really kind of try to like make up for the fact that the gameplay side of things is very, I would say, basic, to say the least. You know. Um. So again, that's how, that's kind of how I feel about those Kingdom Hearts games. That's why I, that's why I don't wanna, I don't want to like uh think about it too much or overexcite myself for those kind of games. You know, and I do understand there there is that fan base for it. There's there's like that that sort of cult following for it. You know, but I feel like I can't get myself that much into it just because of kind of how i see the actual gameplay for it you know having to, having to play like what um you know it's one two i've played uh birth by sleep i've played chain of memories um i i, I kind of stopped in birth by sleep because like i i was so done fucking after that uh um the same no, what's, what's his name Terra's stuff with the uh, the boss fight, oh my god, that last boss fight with Terra, I, I was like super done with that. No way, you know, gameplay wise. But yeah, but when it comes to even like the main Kingdom Hearts games, I felt always felt like the gameplay was like it's fun. Don't get me wrong, but it's like very very it's pretty pretty basic, you know. It seems like yeah, like like most of the budget went into like the all the cinematic shit, you know, and the fact that they're paying that license for the Disney characters and you know the yep. voice acting, right? You know, yeah. Anyways, enough about the droning on that. Um, this one, okay, I already covered that. I think we already covered this. Oh yeah, I think this is supposed to be a meme or something. Oh no, below this is a meme. But yeah, um, yeah, here's the artwork for it. Blah blah, blah right? And then yeah, so because the fact that it's coming to Xbox, there was this like, there has been this this like meme. Uh oh, it's not available. That's uh, unfortunate. <laughs> okay, so basically yeah. the gist of it is that. It's coming to the Xbox before the Switch. If you know, long time ago when the 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 uh, Genshin was first announced, I think it was going to be on Switch. Like it was slated to be on Switch at least at some point. Um, mm -hmm. they like made that official, like an official announcement for it. But ever since, it's like, where's the Switch version? Where's the Switch version? You know, everyone's kind of was talking about it for a while, and then now it's like it's like uh. More like on the back burner ish, but people still bring it up, like you know, as like a meme, like oh yeah, like where's the Switch version, or you know, kind of thing. But the fact that they're doing this right to a console where people are like, oh, it's dying or it's dead, or you know that stuff, you know. Also, Xbox maybe being treated like a meme, you know, but yeah, happening there before the Switch ever got uh yeah um genshin which is kind of funny um so yeah so that's it for those parts um oh yeah i don't know if you've seen this game though but this is called mouse pi for hire and uh this is this is a game that actually caught my attention which i really don't think this was announced at Gamescom. This was just like dropped randomly out of nowhere. For me anyway. I maybe maybe I'm wrong on that. I don't know. 
but this one looks really oh. cool. Yeah, oh, this one looks really cool because oh, let's go, Goofy. Yeah, we wanna start shooting these motherfuckers. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So basically, obviously, it's got that like that retro cartoon look to yeah. it, like um, Cuphead, except there's no color to it. It's like black and white. But it's a first-person shooter. Yeah, very film noir. Also, with the music choice, yeah, fall, Fallout shit. Fallout yeah, like, shit. yeah, like Fallout, like yeah, like that retro punkish noir, yeah, film noir. Yeah, it's got some 3D aspects to it, yeah. But the characters are 2D. So. Yeah, so only on Steam, I think. Uh, let me see if that's correct. Hold on. Um, it was on here too. Niche Gamer. I think it's only on Steam. But yeah, um, just from looking at that trailer, what do you think? What are your comments? The art design, uh, again, as you were saying, it harkens back to like, you know, the first era of um, cartoons. So yeah. It's nice to see mm -hmm. that this art style isn't dead. Yeah. It's actually probably going to get another revival, which is like called Cuphead. Yes. For a, a little small revival. Mm -hmm. or appreciation for you know that era of um cartoon yes oh i'm going oh. to take a picture of this this skater's ass yeah <laughs> yeah it's really cool because i do i i do like my first person shooters i like my cartoons and you know especially like the classic shit so it's kind of like a, a melting pot in a way for me Especially, and then you know, uh, the dash of like a well, big dash of uh, film noir, which I also do like. As someone who watched like you know films like uh, like Chinatown, for example, uh, for example, um, I think it was like I think it was like yeah, Big Trouble in Chinatown or something like that. I, I um I forgot the title for it with uh Jack Nicholson, but yeah, um, those type of films, right? And um, the fact that like the actual like shooter stuff is 2d the characters are 2d themselves the background stuff is 3d which that is of itself is interesting it adds that sort of dimension to it so not everything's all 2d you know it's got like contrasting things so it's not like a completely repetitive sort of thing so it does keep things interesting visually by having both of these elements being incorporated like that yeah you can definitely tell like oh yeah this is 3d right but the actual shooter, the gun, when you reload and everything's all like, like cartoony, like looks like it's, um, 2D traditional animated, but it could be, um, given the illusion of 2D, but you know, car but nonetheless, it is still cartoony. And on top of that, it's got the gore. You can blow up people's heads, right? But it's not like super, like, like, like detail, like it just, have like a little splat of blood and then yeah the head sort of disappears right it's not it's not there's, there's no like it just goes pop oof. yeah pop pop yeah right there's no there's no like skull particles and brain matter and guts bleeding out or leaking it's out it's just more yeah. like um kind of like ink, ink splatter like yeah it just goes... yeah then it's like little pop yeah like little pop like yeah there's no, no it's not super detailed on the violence so it's tasteful. It's it's tasteful, you know. Like you get it. All right. There's blood. There's some blood. You pop their heads. You know. Right. Interesting character designs thus far. Right. Yeah. I like the gun. I like the gun design too. Like this kind of reminds me of something from um, World War One, right? With the the big the big muzzle and everything. 
um you got the you got the classic like pistol from world war ii you know on the german side of things uh shotgun classic you know tommy gun right yeah the 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 way the guns like shoot you can you re re reload and everything look really cool you know nicely animated so i may actually consider like just uh, buying this game on steam you know pretty cool yep and i don't think this was at gamescom of all things too like so i was like oh wow i mean wow it's jeez. so uh, let me see the comments here that yeah, looking fantastic animation definitely has improved especially the weapons um big fan of the 30s Right, Cuphead is a game I love. Mouse is definitely will be on the next list. Thank you for making a game like this style. Right, I love the elements that aren't 3D looking. Uh, that aren't 3D look uh, look like uh, elements from matte paintings. Okay. Um. Yeah, the stylization is incredible. Can't wait to play. Cheese on the cork board. Let me see what he's talking about. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's like the okay. It's just talking about like background stuff. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, Bioshock Infinite plus cartoons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's basically what it is. Like that retro punk kind of stuff. Um, we need more games like this. Um. This is a remake, only a remake from a, a third 1930 game called Bang Mouse. Back then, it was only available on PlayStation. And <laughs> okay, he's making a little meme. All right. <laughs> um, rubber hose style. I never ever really think about it like that, but yeah, they kind of move like they're like a like a rubber hose. Uh, that, that does like a that, it is like a good way to describe it yeah. Or, yeah please release this on consoles yeah that'd be pretty no. cool yeah no. <laughs> um yeah that's right that's right pc master race am i right no no uh, um gabe is just um staring like no yeah i think not i think not yeah this is way better than Rubber Hose Rampage. Is that is that an actual game? Let me see. Ramp, ramp, rubber Hose Rampage. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. I see what this is gonna. Okay. Yeah, this is more like uh, some fan project or something. Yeah. The idea is there, but. The execution could be better for sure. It's like it was like one of those like flash games almost. That's what it kind of seems like. Just judging from yeah, see, two D platformer kind of stuff. Yeah, that's way better. Yeah, this is way better than um, Rubber Hose Rampage. Holy crap! You can do a, a FPS in a style of two D animated film. Could you do a World War II FPS with an uh, art style similar to Balto, Balto and Spirit? Oh no, Balto and Spirit Stallion of Cimarron. That would be a highlight of my life. That would, hmm, that's a that's a very specific uh, request. Uh, double barrel shotgun it would be nice if it was added. Okay, so yeah, you get the point. People like it. Style is really cool. Mm -hmm. Um, I expect for the game to be like I don't know, pretty short, not much to it. But I mean, for a short time, I think I I'm sure it'll be really fun. You know, really really neat concept. I hope they like keep going with it. Right, more cartoony stuff in the format of like 3D almost. If that makes sense. Yeah. 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 So, okay, so now that's it for the frontline stuff. Let's go into the uh, games news. So let me hit this. Ding. All right. <laughs> okay, Black Myth Wukong, right? 
Wukong Black of Myth. Yeah. <laughs> to me, it was like one of those games. It's like it's like I can't put my finger on it, right? But yeah, in terms of like how it's gonna perform and stuff, like mm-hmm. sales wise. But this is like it is hit firing on all cylinders. It already sold 10 million units across all platforms. 3 million concurrent players across all platforms. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's turning out to be one of those games like that could be game of the year, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, have you watched people playing this? or what, what I do you... have watched and I watched like some of the cutscenes. Boyfriend is playing it and uh-huh. I'm asking him and I did ask him like what is because it's Again, it's Wukong, mm-hmm. Journey Journey to the West. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I just asked them, is this like, the you know, you're actually playing through Journey of the West? Or is this like the after story? You know, like what happened after, afterwards, um, mm-hmm. Wukong, you know, fulfilled his, um, his little uh, journey. Yes. So uh, he said, yeah, it's pretty much the, um, the after story mm-hmm. of Wukong. Okay. Because there's um like there's some things that happens to Wukong, and when he was describing it, I was like, oh my god, it sounds like fucking the Forbidden Kingdom, oh. but in a good way. Okay, okay, yeah. If yeah. Anyone wants to watch that movie? Go right ahead. <laughs> mm-hmm. It stars Jet Jet Li and Jackie Chan. Yeah, what, what could go wrong? Yeah, I mean, it scared go- me as a. Yeah. It, it scared me seeing gently smile that that was like the main thing that had he had emotion yeah right yeah i was like why is he smiling Mm -hmm. (laughs) yeah yeah so people people love it you know um i didn't expect for it to perform that well in terms of like just overall reviews and such now okay you know of course there's gonna be fucking controversy around it but i it's like why Right, because um, there was that. It, who 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 did that review? Is that from like IGN or something? I don't know. But someone was like, "Oh, um, it lacks diversity or something." I'm like, "What? <laughs> like what?" <sighs> like, do, do you know where this the tourists again? Tourists yeah. are fucking out in the mouth. So, like, do you know what what Journey of the West is? Right, Journey of the West, and like who. Who wrote it? Yeah, you know, you know, and stuff. Right. It it stuck to one region, and it ain't England. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Right. Like even then, it's like, uh, ugh, God, people people have to like kind of like I don't I don't want to like like uh sound. I'll like, say it for you, okay. so you don't have to say. It. People okay. need to do their damn research before they open their mouth. Right, right. That. What else is like? Are you really? Are you really playing video games for diversity? You know, do people people like really think that's that it's that important? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. To me, to me, it's always like, um, like, is the game fun? Like, you know, that's that, that's always like kind of. Well, the, yeah, the, it's pretty much what is gameplay? Is what gameplay is ga- good for me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do, do do I have a sense of enjoyment, accomplishment? Mm-hmm. Um, can I do sick sick shit? Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Are, are, do things look cool when I do them? Yeah, that kind of stuff too. Like, man, I don't know. It's a it's, I I if the if the game has I don't know some Asian dude. All right, cool. Like, but. Is that Asian guy gonna do some cool shit? You know, like is the, <laughs> you know, I kind of say the same thing for like you know Overwatch too, like because or not or just Overwatch in general. Excuse me, like yeah, like look look at all these characters, like they're diverse. There's like you know a lot of people of like uh, ethnicity, different ethnicities and backstories, a lot of stuff. You got Japanese, you got someone from Egypt. Of course, you got white, you know, Swedish, all that stuff, right? But you have a um, monkey, you have monkey, yeah, monkey, yeah, monkey. Yeah. Excuse, excuse me, he's an ape, you know? <laughs> but anyway, I'm not a monkey, yeah, yeah, not, not monkey, monkey. yeah, so, yeah, 
hell, you got a fucking hamster, right? And a big ass robot thing, right? But the game's not fun. I'm sorry. Like I got tired of that game because um, they didn't do it. They didn't do well enough to change it up was, the formula and like. Yeah, it was just the same shit. Yes. Who okay. would have would have been the crown achievement if they stuck, you know, stuck with the fucking PVE? But yeah. lo and behold. Mm hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that that disappeared. Mm hmm. Oh, sorry. No PVE. It's canceled. When, even though that was like a main selling point. You know, no, it's like you guys were selling that shit like it was fucking <laughs> a gift from God, and then right. just go like, yeah, never mind. Yeah, yeah. That that whole stuff too, like Blizzard, the monetization, and all that stuff. You know, uh, yeah. You can have all the, you can have all diversity you want, but if if there are other things that like are shitty and like, um. And then the, the, oh, you know, the things that make a video game fun, like, aren't fun. It's like, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna get off that game. And I'm not gonna see those diverse characters and such. So, there's no point there in that case, right? So, and, um, I've said the same thing for, um, Genshin, right? Um, yeah, that one's like the opposite. That one lacks the diversity when it comes to skin tones, but the game is fun. So, I'm gonna play with, play that for, a long time because the story is interesting yes it has its flaws of course but it's it's, it's still an interesting game for enough for me to stick or stick with it despite yeah. the well quote unquote lack of diversity kind of thing you know but yeah in this case like it's it's a chinese mythology it's like what do you what do you what do you expect right you know, like I'm, it's like I'm sorry for for your tourists, um, who probably is majority, you know, yeah, of different races. Like, sorry that there's no, you know, Afri African, you know, people in in China because again, right, it's Chinese mythology, right. I think it's more of a, a gender thing in this case. Uh, yeah, yeah. they were talking about like the lack of female characters or something like that. So female that. Right. Well, it's again when when you think of um, Chinese mythologies, there's more male gods yeah. and deities than female. Mm -hmm. And when you ask, like, you know, like the casual like Chinese mythology, um, like persons, like, what what female god do you you know do you think of from Chinese mythology? I think of the the moon goddess because that's like the prominent one. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, there are more female gods or deities, and um, I don't know what do they call it. Like, I guess demons, but yeah, 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 yeah. like mythical, but, mythical like beings and such. Yeah, yeah. But this is supposed to be like you know, journey to the west, so you're not gonna see yep. too much of that, right? They're sticking to the journey to the west. So sorry if that. If you don't like Journey of the West or whatever, right? Like, if you don't like that, then, yeah. well, then this isn't for you. So don't make it into, like, a weird conversation about it. So sorry. They say this then, is not a game for you. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's also, like, it's Journey of the West. So as you kind of piggyback off of you. Um, yeah. If this um, mythology is not, you know, not for you, maybe you should also change that, um, PFP, you know, that profile picture of Goku. Right. You, you sure ain't not fucking worth, worthy of that fucking <laughs> um, profile pic anymore. Mm -hmm. Having Goku as it, like, <laughs> take that off. Right. Right. That'd be really funny if that was, if there was a case on that, right? Like, <laughs> they have no idea what, where Goku came from, which is funny. Son Goku is literally the Japanese like name for Sun uh Sun Wukong. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, mm. yep. So enough of that. Congrats to um the devs of Black Myth Wukong on the good success, and uh, hopefully, yeah, it'll be nominated and all that stuff, and maybe win, win the award. So hopefully. Um, 
more is to come. All right, Zenless stuff. Um, this is like, yeah. <laughs> this is more of like memes and stuff like that. But I thought it'd be funny to bring it up. Um, someone brought up the fact that um, okay, yes, yeah, so it's kind of kind of like Leon and Ada sort of relationship, sort of a little different, but yeah. But they're Japanese voice actors have previously voiced Link and Zelda um, in Breath of the Wild. So it's like they can't they they, they can't escape <laughs> you know kind of thing. It's almost it's, a, it's like um, I, mean, like, I mean look now now that you see that just change the hair hair mm -hmm. color. Yeah yeah right. yep there you go there you go. Yep. And then um and just make um uh Seth a mute. And just go <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah you're right you're right. Um, what was I gonna say? And then you yeah. know, they have Zelda have that awkward like, Link, you must save the world. Link, yeah. Cause like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> what I was gonna say it's like, um, oh yeah, yeah, it's, like, it's basically like, uh, like Naruto Sasuke, like these cannot escape each other, <laughs> voice actor wise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a face that guy made in the tree or in the cutscene. That was really funny. Oh, um, yeah, the leader of the, the, the mountain lion, the mountain lion leader. Lion. <laughs> Which again, I want to make a canon that he he is not the leader. It's actually Geese. Yeah, Geese Howard. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then and then uh, they'll be they'll be called like. I don't know, Wild Goose Chase or something. That'd be like a the the, the, uh, the actual gang name for it. <laughs> nah, just kidding. It's not. It's not geese. It's um, fuck, what's his name? It's Rugal. Rugal. Oh shit. That'd be yeah. No, it'll be really funny. No, wait, if... wait, no, no. Geese is the 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 leader of the Mountain Mount Alliance, but it's Rugal that's in charge of the fucking police force. Oh man, that'd be such a man. That'd be such a twist. <laughs> that'd be a twist and scary when you think of it. It's like, right? It's like who's 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 in charge of the, the you know the public security? It's like, mm -hmm. oh, his name is uh Rugal. Yeah. What? <laughs> <It's> like, what? <laughs> yep. Uh, what was it? Um, this one. Oh yeah, this is the um Daniel's Zone Zero had the, their own the, little yeah, segment yeah, from special video. Little special video, yeah. Which oh, is God. which is kind of weird because it's like we already seen, you know, what she does and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. It's kind of like I guess for those who don't play it. Yeah, it's like it's like a actually I, also, this 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 little segment of you know the citizens walking and stuff. I was like, this is this looks like a freaking lie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like they're kind of like flexing, basically. Like, oh yeah, we got these characters, you know. But yeah, this looks very like in game, you know. Oh yeah, I mean, it's very very stylized and all that. But um, running on rooftops—that's a lie. <laughs> yeah, see, so, yeah, is. It's basically like, yeah, like a promotion on the 1.1 update. More Jane. And then, yep, and then this is this is the important thing because this shows the new area right this is supposed to be like the outer rim i believe it's called and then of course the new two characters bernice and um caesar king to which um i guess like some lore got leaked or whatever so mm. it's um caesar king is big sister to billy but we don't know if it's like just mm. for honorific um purposes yeah. or that's actually his big sister yeah i think well because billy did come from somewhere else so uh, maybe yeah. he did he did join the sons of kaladin at one point 
and then he like got off or something. Yeah, he, he's like, yeah, I'm done. Um, I'm doing something else or something. And then maybe yeah, like that's where it comes from. Like, uh, he looks up to her as like a big sister, you know, Aniki, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, kind of like how you know Japanese gangs work, sort of thing. So. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh god, if they're in that relationship. Oh god, Billy. Oh god. Oh man, Billy. Maybe that's why he, he watches um Starlight Night is just to kind of like cleanse cl cleanse the palate. Like, oh, get it out. And then you like mouthwash. Like, oh, let's get this out of my mouth as much as possible. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, I'm a Starlight Night fan. Woo! <laughs> Even though, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it'd be just funny, like you know, Caesar and um Billy are you know just talking, mm -hmm. but it's it's like kind of like borderline, like like too friendly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. And you just see Neko and the coach is going like, <laughs> "Who like, are you?" Yeah, like uh, ba basically friends with benefits. <laughs> But yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just giving like Billy like like that. Should, yeah. we, be, should we call you? Yeah, it's like I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> proxy. What are you do? What should we do, proxy? Yeah. <laughs> you see us like just fucking running away. It's like nope. <laughs> it's not our business. <laughs> we got something else to do. Oh shit! Victoria called. We gotta go. <laughs> It's like, oh, oh, like, 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 it needs help. Uh, 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 cleaning, cleaning the floors. Because... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, this is this is like the most the more the quote unquote important bit, at least to me anyway. Because I um you know nothing else is really new here except here. This last yeah. like last like I, what three seconds. I am not um what's the word surprised, but just a little disappointed that. It's them first, yeah, and not um, the the defense force. Oh, so you, uh, wanna play sec fucking, section, wanna, uh, section six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to play fucking Virgil. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, Mi Miyabi. Virgil. Yeah, Miyabi. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, we'll see where her banner is, and then I'll be like, okay, maybe I'll pull for her, but I don't know. If she like right it comes after, out at the same time as, as them, I'll yeah, be right, like, oh. <laughs> or right after them, right? So that's like, ugh, you know. That's that, when that's when you do this, when that happens. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the credit, <laughs> that that give. <laughs> yeah, the credit card give. So. Or you just did the whole the other gift, like with the one dollar, like. Mm, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. So, yep. <laughs> uh, these two are coming, obviously, right after uh, Jane Doe. Uh, Doe of Jane. The Doe of Jane. Or the Jane of Doe. <laughs> it sounds weird. <laughs> Alright. Let's go try to get a chug along here. Um, also from Gamescom. Uh, Is Star Rail. <clears throat> That's a little bit racist. One black, one white. Yeah. <laughs> so this is kind of like uh like a teaser slash just be hyping up more uh, more on the upcoming new character uh, named Fei Xiao. She is a uh, one of the generals of the six, really strong, but she has some sort of like uh. Not disease, but something that's uh limiting her life. Um basically. Um it's a it's uh uh what's it called? Mo it's like it's something with the moon and uh it's like moonlit rage or something. Um well, she she just she's she's just a minx. She when the moon is out, she she just goes into a beast form. <laughs> maybe, right? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> You know what this style reminds me of? What's up? Like this little cutscene. Mm -hmm. Kung Fu Panda. When, oh, you know, Cole yeah. Was like, was like telling like the backstory of yeah. you know, himself. It's like. Yeah. 
Yeah, and also the way the stories tell is like, yeah, this sounds like if Poe mm -hmm. was fucking telling a story. Yeah. Little girl. Oh, yes. This is the important bit, too. <laughs> Ah, that's a recognizable voice, yes? If you play yeah. Fate games and watch Fate anime. Yeah. It I is just... totally not Emiya, quote-unquote. <laughs> yeah. But see, I wish it was... I wish it was Gilgamesh just calling everyone shut up, Mongrel. Yeah, Mongrel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that'd be really funny. Mongrel yeah. be like, yeah. oh god, he's here. Yeah. Yeah, he does that laugh and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He goes, <laughs> yeah. you guys suck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it, no, it, it is Archer for those. Um, yeah, it's yeah. Acha. Archer, Acha, yeah. Which means likely. Rin will also make it in there too because she's like the first master kind of quote unquote. Yeah. And then depending on which which route you take, he turns yeah. or portrays her or sticks with, sticks with her or whatever. Right. But yeah. Rin, so basically, yeah, Archer, basically, uh, for sure Archer's in it. But yeah. that also means... The voice and then... Yeah, just, yeah. Which also could di indirectly mean Rin will be there too because yeah they got this master servant thing going on. And I forgot what the little creature's name is. Oh, Pom Pom. Yeah. They said Pom Pom said three. So who are the other two? Ah. Yeah. See, what are what? you three up to? Ah. Uh, oh yeah 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 yeah. So Atcha. Oh, mm -hmm. Archer spoke first. Yes. So who's the other two like riding with him? Mm hmm. Ah, oh, you say riding, no? <laughs> it's a rider, no? <laughs> I mean, okay. Maybe, may, maybe the servants are without their masters in this story. So yeah. maybe, maybe like, okay, it could be Archer, it could be Saber, and who's another like protagonist, right? Who's like a Good. Um, well, it's 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 sticking to um, fate stay night. Yeah, stay night. So maybe Ku, maybe so, uh, because who 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 you so who, who would you consider so, like so a... Ku? So that that means he's gonna die in the first like. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need someone that needs to survive, sir. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to think like who's like a good guy servant, right? Because I because it's like uh, well, Emia and then Saber and then. What? Who else? Right. Um, who? Who would be? Who would I fit mean, in that description? Fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah. Put Casta or um, writer or a writer. Yeah. Perhaps. Because like okay, so and maybe maybe bit of a spoiler. Have you watched Heaven's Feel? I gotta remind myself what what that looked like. Okay. Heaven's Feel... Was this the one? Heaven's Feel was the movie, right? Yes, there are, the, there are three movies for uh, Heaven's Feel. Those are oh, three. yeah, so for Heaven's Feel, um, I only watched the one with... um, uh, What's it called? Dark Saber. The oh, cave fight. Saber Altar? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Saber Altar. That's, okay. that's the only... I think that's the second one? Oh, it's what's the second one? So right, do you know? So do you know? Movie, right? So do you know wh whose writer's true master is? Right. I'm gonna say no because I don't want to dig into my archives. I'm okay. Just gonna... Okay. 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 So never mind. Yeah. I'm I'm just gonna just leave it at that then, because if writer is there, then this character is there. But but anyway. Um. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, probably it's it's that it has to be saber. It has, and, and of course, um, archer. Archer is for sure is there. Um, it's gonna be the last one. Who's the be, last but, one? Right. It could be berserker for all you know. I don't know, man. He's like, kind of just like, just there. Like, I don't know why I'm here, but you know, just taking up a lot of room in that little tiny, tiny room. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, in my heart, I do just want Gilg. <laughs> yeah. Gilgamesh there, just like, sitting way in the back, just like... Yeah. I just think, like fucking well, bored off his mind. Well, for sure, Gilgamesh would, would be a really good vil or boss fight for the event. You know? But yeah, I, I would like to see Gilgamesh for sure. Because yeah, he's like that villain that people like to see, but kind of lo they love to hate exactly uh, i think that's exactly what it is um or it'd be so funny like it is gil but yeah. it's like a nice gil because oh, nice he, gil he found his, <laughs> nice he found his he found his uh his his friend <laughs> uh-huh oh it and Kido? <laughs> yeah, Kido. He found his he found his friend, so he's he's happy. Okay. <laughs> he's just along for the ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's the nice skill from um um Carnival no, kind of he's, just throwing, he's just throwing money everywhere. Oh yeah. That's right. He's like, here you guys go. <laughs> you need money, I'll help you. It's like mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but because it's Archer, and there was that big explosion, so it might be Gil, like just causing ruckus and. Wait, hold Archer on, hold on. Like... Let me let me see what the blast was like. Hold on, let me see. So that was Archer's like. Yeah, the shot, maybe the shot. It could also be, uh, Gaybog. So you know, if, um, who? <laughs> right, Gaybog. Gay yeah, Gaybog. <laughs> Yeah, but how, how, like, is that how you say it in English? Because I mean, that's a, that's, a, that's a Japanese pronunciation. But <laughs> I mean, it's Celtic, so I wouldn't know. Yeah, it would probably cool, 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 yeah, cool, cool lane. Celtic. Yeah, cool, cool lane is from yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe maybe originally it was four people, but because it's cool. You fucking died. <laughs> Damn, man. You gotta be, you gotta be, man. You, you're too mean. You're too no, mean. You, we, gotta, we, gotta keep the, we, we gotta keep the tradition. The yeah. Tradition. All right. That's, that's, you're, you're, you're really mean towards Koo, man. He's, he's, he's my guy, man. Come on. <laughs> no, no, no. Koo Ulta is your guy. Yeah, okay, true. <laughs> <laughs> All the other Koo's are like... Yeah. You just like go go away. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. There's sorcerer Ku. There's uh, I forget the the actual there's name. Sorcerer, for it. then there's like two fucking lancer coups. Yeah. Obviously which from... made no sense. Mm hmm Uh I think there's kid kid coup at some point, but I'm probably getting No, that. it um you think of um kill Gigamish. Right, but I think there's also, uh, prob probably like in some like obscure fate story or side game or some shit is like some sort of a kid or maybe maybe teen coup or something. I don't know. I could be wrong though. Anyway, there's there yeah, and then there's coup alter right, yeah, and then I think that's it right. So, anywho. In any case, um, it is still long ways away because it's going to be late 2025. So we got yeah, because this is this is quarter three 2025. Yeah, we gotta wait for a long time. Yeah, people saying Archer, Archer, yeah. Archer. <laughs> yeah. What if it's the if it was the other fate? No, it is that fate. So hmm. what if it is? Um, they didn't put saber. 
and it is Archer, Berser- Berserker, and um, Gil. No. <laughs> okay. And, you know, they did have their servants, but they're more like um, companions. I mean, uh, they're masters uh, mm-hmm. and they're, they're companions. Mm-hmm. And let's just say there, there, there was that special, um, that special uh, cutscene between Gilgamesh and Berserker. Mm. And they just replayed that freaking scene. Well, this is, well, okay. This is another thing to consideration. It says Unlimited Blade Works. Unlimited Blade Works. Yes. Yeah. So I think this is the one where uh, Archer does portray Ren, right? So, yeah. and then, yes. And then, so this, this, this is Rin's route. So Rin has to be there for sure. With Amia, right? Because Amia, because this is the route when Amia picks Rin to be his, you know, loved one, right? Rin has to be there for sure. You know, whether she's a NPC or whatever, right? Like a dual character with Archer, or I don't know, whatever. It's it's, it's kind of it'll get a little, a little, a little hairy or complicated. So, if Archer's around in the train, hmm, right? be kind of weird because when he does portray Rin who does he stick to right I forget what, what uh was it with uh what's her face um caster media so maybe <laughs> I mean, it'd be weird because it'd be Archer media and then um yep oh uh, maybe her master right I forget his name, but he's like he was kind of like that the the very like stoic teacher that Emil had. Yep. Yeah. Maybe him. That'd be such a weird trio for the train to be for them to be in the train. Hmm. Maybe maybe they'll like I don't know, take liberties of like not doing uh the the exact storyline. I don't know. Because. If it, if it's three people, right? It could be it could be Emia, it could be Artman, and then uh, Sakura, right? Because like that's like the yep. kind of the trio, right? And then and then uh, maybe like oh um hey we need your help, and then they go to the I don't know either planet or the place where Archer, and then I don't know maybe Saber who is currently Saber Alter, right? She's under some spell or some shit and then, i don't know anything can go from there right saber has to be there rin has to be there of course archer is like hard confirmed yeah. so therefore amia is there too i mean yeah amia is yeah, yeah amia right uh if amia is in there i need to hear him say the lie yeah. <laughs> when people are killed like, <laughs> people die when they're <laughs> killed <laughs> you just see him like like just doing like that that like, pose yeah that yeah that, the, the, the fist mm. and then and then all the honkai um like characters are just staring at him going like what is he doing mm-hmm. did that make sense <laughs> does, he, does he have brain damage <laughs> do you have any you have a, some form of brain damage <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we went on yeah. enough with the oil stuff. This one, um, did I click? Did I click on that right? Let me see. I don't. I just want to make sure I'm not skipping over anything. Okay, that's done. I think it's just a YouTube video for it. Oh, this went private. Whoa. Oh. Oh, well, fuck this place. All <laughs> right. All right. Last one for the game's news. Um, this involves with Kong Survivor Instinct. So I think this was the game that was being teased, right? Remember there was the, the spider leg going, you know, like stepping over like, I don't know, some place or some shit last time. Yeah. I think this is the game. And... um. Judging from this trailer, I don't think there's really else to go off of. Like, it's not that deep, is what I'm trying to say here. 
Cause see, yeah, there's cause there's that spider, right? Big dude. Titans attacked out of nowhere. No one can tell why here. Why now? All I know is that somewhere among that chaos and destruction is my daughter. Yeah, I see. I will do anything to find Stacy. But I can't do it alone. Yep, see, there's a spider. And then... Long, a big bird. Yep. <laughs> Monkey. Yep. So now the question is, is this... Is this canon to yeah. legendary films uh, monster verse? And if so, where does it where does it take place? Mm -hmm. Is it after um, Kong uh, Godzilla Kong New Empire? And if so, yeah, it, is there a special um, button that um, button combination that you press that Kong brings out little Suki and just mm -hmm. fucking <laughs> bashes the <laughs> spider with it? <laughs> Oh man! These are important questions. I need to see that little monkey get his ass handed again. Mm -hmm. So this is to answer your question. This is uh, set just after Godzilla versus Kong. Ooh. Yes. So this is yeah. So somewhere between that and Godzilla cross Kong, you know, whatever, right? So new empire. So yeah, but I think for the most part, it's just going to be a 2D scrolling game, side scrolling game or adventure game, which happens to have Kong and the spider in it, right? I don't think there's going to be anything else involved or like it ain't that deep kind of thing. You're not going to really play as Kong. Just, I don't know. You're kind of indirectly controlling Kong with just like a few button combinations or if just if not just one button. I think Kong will also be like a um, just like a mechanic where you build up enough meter or something and then oh there's a bunch of enemies on my screen. Boop. Kong button and then he just wipes out the enemy and then, then that's it. You know. I think that's get out of jail free card. Did, 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 jail, did get out of jail free card, yes. Or a way to progress to the next part of the level, right? Like, oh, Kong, I need you to destroy this part of the building so I can get through it or something. Sh I'm sh some shit, You're right? I think that's really that's what it is. So um, Kong is pretty much like um, your Pokemon. Yeah, pretty much. There's a huge boulder. Mm -hmm. Hey, Macho, use strength. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yep. Pretty much, because if you notice, right, if on his wrist it says like synchronized or whatever, and then like Kong just comes out. So yeah, it's kind of like the excuse. Yeah, right here, this 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 device right here. Oh, synchronize, and then oh, you know, soon after, uh, Kong appears. Right there, there you go. Takes a takes a bit, right? <laughs> it'll 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 need a, a couple of updates. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I think this is kind of like just some shovelware from, uh, you know, WB. Try to like kind of recover as much as possible kind of thing. Try to just make some money because that whole thing with WB is kind of a shit show right now. So yeah. That's just kind of where my analysis is at of why this is a thing. Which is which is a uh, quite disappointing. It's not like a full fledged like Moss uh, Kaiju game or anything like that, and um, you know, 
we haven't had like a full fledged like Godzilla game at that too. And the closest thing we have right now is just um Giga Bash with all the Godzilla characters that are in there right now. And not to mention we have like Ultraman and all that shit, I think, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. So if you want a kaiju game, go play Giga Bash right now. Of all things. Or if you still have your PS2. Mm -hmm. it, oh god, you're gonna bring it out, aren't you? Where are you? Ah! <laughs> the best fucking game ever! I have, uh, I remember having, um, Destroy All Monsters Melee. That was, that was, that was the one before it. Yeah, melee. Yeah. Yep. I still, <gasps> what is this, everyone? It's, it's a fucking wolf. Man, oh, wow, it's a man, instruction manual, man. A little booklet. Remember those? <laughs> I don't remember seeing a fucking scratch on you. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> That would be a, that would be a yep. painful to see. Beautiful game. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's it for the games. Let's uh, go ahead and wrap it up with some of uh, visual entertainment rapid stuff. Fire. Yeah, yep. let's kind of rapid fire a bit. So let's just hit this one. Yep. <laughs> anyway, so. Big news for the Star Wars fans, Acolyte is canceled. Mm. Yes. So, how do you feel and about this one? It's more of like, again, tourists. Hmm. Like, the writing was. It was bad. But, yeah. you know, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. There, there was something there, but it just yeah. needed a few more few more moments to cook i think i think what it is is like yeah they're interesting concepts but i think the execution was terrible that's what it sounds execution like was was terrible yeah and also they they chose the most like beloved beloved um era of the star wars um franchise which is the old republic mm. so it's like shit <laughs> you fuck up there you kind of fuck up everything yeah um it's funny because um uh, yeah like Friday uh, or yesterday as I record this, I had a coworker um explain to me one of the scenes from Acolyte. Oh no, well he didn't. He, he uh he he basically is was explaining someone else's someone else's explanation of a of a scene from Acolyte, and then from what it sounded like, I'm like oh that's. Actually, really bad. <laughs> you know? yeah. Jesus Christ, it's that bad, huh? <laughs> no wonder it got canceled. Like Jesus, man. But yeah, it, it was universally panned, and you know, like it was mostly it was and, and, yeah, yeah. Direction and, and also, writing was bad. Yeah. I still don't. I still don't know why fucking Kathleen Kennedy is still around. Yeah, with the reins of Star Wars. She... But I also blame Disney for putting some canon shit as legends mm, so that's the mm -hmm. thing with fucking star wars after yeah. disney got got their hands on it yeah like star wars was a whole before disney and then once disney came out they pretty much picked and choose what is canon and then what is uh legends mm -hmm. but thanks to you know like um dave Fer ferroni and um uh, and john trying to you know pretty much clean up Kathleen Kennedy's mess. Yeah. They they brought some legend lore back into like the Disney canon lore. Mhm. Mm so and one of the biggest one of the biggest right for Acolyte was the whip saber. People mm -hmm. thought some people again being tourists. Mhm. Mm Fucking obviously didn't read Legends or any of the um, comics that was made long time ago. That yeah, there was a whip saber. It's not a new like a fucking like they just threw it on the wall and it stick. It's like no, that's actually a real thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
And then a lot of people are just fucking congratulating it. Like, yes, fuck this thing. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, like, people worked on it. So you're, you know, it's like, so you're saying that you're happy that these people wait, quote unquote, wasted their time in, in doing their job? Seriously? Mm-hmm. Because that's how it's it's coming off. Like, yeah, fuck this, fuck this day. Uh, the people that worked on it, right? I don't know. I don't know uh, like, about that bit. I think I don't know. I mean, again, it's like a lot of people, who, which is actually, I'm gonna go with fucking X's dumb shit. It's blue check marks. Like they say, yeah, fuck this thing, and then when you ask them. Why is it bad? Oh, because, you know, it's, it's bad. It's like, that's not a fucking answer. Mm -hmm. Explain to me, like, I'm five, why it's bad. Right. From point A to point B, tell me why it's bad. The writing. Okay, what's wrong with the writing? It's bad. Mm hmm Why? How so? Like, yeah, be more specific. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, don't, don't repeat what people are saying right now of why of it's bad. Why is it bad to you? Did you right. watch it? Right. I mean, yeah, there, there, there yeah. is a bit of like that bandwagoning and then the, uh, yeah, the you know, the, 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 yeah, the, there's just like riding on the hate train kind of thing without even like, you know, like knowing what really went on in the show or whatever. Um, yeah. But, you know, I, I can only say much, so much because I'm, I'm only hearing what other people hear. And then that, even that person yeah, was like can... hearing off of what they heard too. So it's like, hmm. Right, so, you know, but it really went down to to poor direction and poor writing. I, yeah, it was, you know, poor direction, poor writing, and yeah. Again, it was in an an era of Star Wars that's really beloved by right, a lot right. of fans, right? Which is the Old Republic. Yes, right. I don't know. It was a shame. I mean, they they yeah. they, they also sh but what the show did was show like actual like. Um, lightsaber fight. Okay, so this this scene, spoiler, yeah. is called um, Kyber Crystal Bleeding. Uh -huh. It's not a new kind of concept. It's actually how um, you get the red lights, um, the red coloring to um, to the lightsabers. Mm. You're kind of pouring uh, your your Kyber Crystal. Oh. Uh -huh. What is it? I knew this shit was gonna be so thank you my dumbass self for buying shit from Disney hmm. okay so your kyber crystal well it's red now but just imagine it was like blue yeah so what kyber crystal bleeding is pretty much like you're you're pouring your like your anger and you know your feelings mm -hmm, pretty mm -hmm. much your strong emotions into the kyber crystal so in, in a sense yeah you're bleeding your your energy into it and that's why people turn red because that's your pride you know cage jealousy. yes those are the strongest emotions that you can um that you can put put out for it mm-hmm so, but a lot of people are saying like, "Oh, this is stupid. This is not canon." It's like, no, it's actually canon, right? Like in Star Wars lore, there's no such thing as a red kyber crystal. Like, you cannot just find one like out in the wild. It's actually made. Mm -hmm. like, so, a little bit lore for you guys. Yeah, it seems like uh, a number I, of people. Excuse me. Uh, this seems like a number of people saying, like, yeah, it, like the potential was there, but yeah, but the yeah. Execution, execution was, was bad. Was yeah, bad. yeah. Like again, I'm sorry, everyone that. Not every um, Star Wars TV show is going to be a big ass hit like The Mandalorian or Anor. Yeah. Or shit like that. 
but then a lot of people are like praising like well it's the same tourists going like which i'm irritated about it's like just stick with the, uh, the skywalker you know saga or family i'm like no mm. i'm fucking done with the skywalker family mm -hmm. branch off to like the other like actual fun star wars characters yeah the sky the skywalker saga is done like it has been done for years the only way you bring back like luke was when he was actually building the temple and teaching we saw a brief of it in the mandalorian but that was it yes yeah so to me again it's like if you want to explore yeah there's other characters that you can or other um well-known figures in the star wars lore that you can explore fucking count dooku you can do count yeah. dooku when he was when younger. he was a jedi master yeah well, yeah yeah he's younger. apprentice yeah yeah when he was with them stuff yeah uh fucking i'm hoping the the rumor that it's been floating for like the last five years is true that their trilogy movie is with darth revan and that's also with um fucking the um old republic but oh. darth revan is such a fun character mm -hmm. okay because he's kind of like the basis of what um luke was um, to bring balance to the force ah uh, but he but he essentially failed yes or not really failed he actually showed like holy shit that it is possible that you can have both oh light and dark in you know, light and dark side in you oh i see i see okay and then you know you'll have those people saying because on a technicality I count Darth Revan as a Grey Jedi, but then people are gonna be like, Grey Jedi's are don't exist in this world. So mm. That's another. Uh, that's another uh, can of worms that I hate going into. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, bad direction, bad writing, all that stuff. Bad or... direction, bad writing. I cannot blame the actors. That's the thing you should not really right. not blame the actors if if a project fails. Yeah. Like they're doing their job. They're doing their job and all that stuff, yeah. You know. But when an actor or actress goes out of the way and say, Yeah, my this project is shitty. Yeah. Thank thank you, um, Madam Whip for that. Yes. Like I knew Madame Web was going to be shitty mm -hmm. from the from the get go. It was just mm -hmm. funny to see the uh, the main actress like, you know, solidify it and yeah. it Sony, you know, with their head up their ass. It's like, no, this is a masterpiece. It's like, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like <sighs> whatever, whatever you 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 were smoking, mm -hmm. put it down. Yeah, it's not the good stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, Akali is uh, well put down, so, yeah. It is what it is. I got the old yeller. Mm -hmm, yeah, the old yeller. Now, more on uh, shitty stuff. Um, Borderlands, right? We talked about it last time, making uh, very little money. Um, is going digital already uh, on August 30th. Less than a month after theatrical release, it's such a such a record, right? A fastest for like theater to digital like cycle, you know. And it's Borderlands of all things, right? Like a popular video game franchise, or at least it was some, it was popular at some point. Um, you know, Borderlands, the movie is like up there as um one of the biggest box office disasters, you know. So, uh, yeah, you know, shame, whatever. I mean, I've watched the movie myself, and uh, yeah, because hitting the digital already, hey, I'm, I'm, uh, my my chance to watch it uh, somewhere else, to some means, <clears throat> quote unquote, um, will be around the corner a lot sooner than I thought. So, 
But, um... It is kind of a shame. But, yeah. Any comment on this bit here? Borderlands. Let me see, like... Okay. I mean, you and you played Borderlands, right? The first and second, at least. Uh, at least, well, second, and then I played the third. You know, yeah. Okay. So the first one, <clears throat> everyone was there, ish, ex except for Tiny Tina. Tiny yes. Tina did not show up until the second game. Yeah. Two, well, you're missing Mordecai and another, you know, uh, brick. another dude. Yeah, brick. Yeah. Yeah. Brick. So that, that this was already a, a messed up thing. Yes. The other big elephant in the room was Kevin Hart being rolling. Yeah, yeah rolling. Like why? Mm -hmm. Rolling's like a big fucking dude, but yeah, he's, he's yeah, he's imposing. He's yeah, yeah. To which, like, you would need like someone else to do it. Like, I'm sorry, Kevin Hart, you're new, you tiny. Yeah. Not imposing enough. You know, you know, like you don't. If, if yeah. it was, if it was a Keith David, like you, you need that voice to carry. Yeah, or even uh, I just elbow, like you know, that's another yeah, like even elbow, whatever. Yeah. Motherfucker play blood sports, like it's already like there, you know. But, I mean, fuck about. Lawrence Fishburne would have been also a good choice. Lawrence Fishburne, um, yeah. Even even Terry Crews would have been better a better choice because he's like you know must he, he's got a, he's got the physique for it. Yeah, here he here has the physique. Yes. You know. And then if if he was still alive today, Michael Clark Duncan would have been a great yeah. fucking role. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, him too. Possibly. But, in any case, cat, whatever the cat, uh, you know, casting aside, right? You know, even people, yeah. you know, had questions about Kate Blanchett's casting, whatever, with her being um, Lilith. Lilith. Lilith, yeah. And then, you know, the fact that Tiny Tina is there, even Krieg is weird because Krieg is um, a Borderlands 2 character as, as well as uh, Tiny, Tiny Tina. In fact, but Krieg was a DLC character. So um a lot a lot of questionable things and then you know again direction, writing was bad, the dialogue was bad. Um on the exterior it kinda looks like Borderlands, but I think the tone and stuff was a little a bit of a miss from what I've heard anyway. Um it was just it was just uh, from what I've heard, it was just a bad movie. It's just a horrible movie, you know, for for both mo uh, your casual moviegoers and the Borderlands fans. So all that in combination uh, only earned them what eight million dollars at the box office or whatever. So somewhere in the low millions, out of the what one hundred fifty plus million dollars for the budget, including marketing. Yeah. Um. Yeah, hundred. Estimated 115, whatever, right? I think I think it's more than that, but there was a, quite a bit of marketing there. Uh, only gross 24, 24 million so far. Yeah, at this point. Yeah, that is um ye pretty bad. So no wonder they're putting it on digital already. Uh, another weird thing. Meanwhile, Chick Fil A of all things, right? Which is you know the the place that you get chicken sandwiches at is moving into this Jesus, oh, Jesus uh, chicken yeah um yes yeah, you know they're more what it's, I think it's like it was founded by a Mormon dude I think right anyway it's moving into the entertainment space with plans to launch a slate of TV shows for its own streaming platform. So what, are you going to call it like Chick-fil-A Plus or some shit? Like, <laughs> how's that going to work? They're going to gonna reintroduce Bible, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, oh, you know, you know what would be a good name for it? It would be Flick-fil-A. <laughs> you know, like movie flick. 
plate filet. That'd be oh, it's so it's so bad. It's good. <laughs> but yeah, very very uh very random, you know. Who asked for Chick Fil A a streaming platform? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which level of last stage capitalism are we in? <laughs> right. Will it prevent you from watching on Sundays? <laughs> yes, it will. Yeah, right. Oh, I I always hated like when uh, whenever back um, back back when um, me and my family has to uh, actually used to like eat Chick Fil A a lot. Uh, we always forget it was Sunday, and then we're like, "Hey, let's get Chick Fil A," and it's like fucking closed. Like, we're like, "Fuck!" <laughs> I always forget. <laughs> At one point. <laughs> Can't wait for Chick Plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's kind of what I thought too, right? I just want my fries, bro. <laughs> I want my waffle fries. Yeah. Yeah, if anything, like, like I think I think it's universally agreed their fries are really good for like the first few minutes. And then once it gets cold, it's like complete shit. It's, ugh, no. You gotta, you gotta have the fries like right then and there, you know? I think that's one thing we can agree on. All right. Next thing. Oh yeah, this one is this one is also really weird and random, but I like it. I like Chick Fil A streaming service. But anyway, so this is uh, the actor who plays the Deep, right? This is for um, uh, Apex Legends ad. Believe it or not. Following story so legendary. And it deserves to be retold even more legendarily. And he's acting as Fuse of all characters. <laughs> district, the legend's handsome. But then, another squad. The bullet time fight with no bullets. Until. Oh, hey. This guy. Mirage. <laughs> punch party. Such a weird ad, but hey, I mean, it had... and also it, it is the deep. <laughs> it is the deep, yes. And he's playing. He's playing as Fuse. I'm like, all right, go away. Fuse me, you know, former Fuse me, I guess you could say. But um, I do like that. <laughs> the first comment. This where the <laughs> this is where they. Hey, yeah, right. The <laughs> server Say, issue. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, from the same poster. Yeah, by the same poster. Yeah. Um, again, it's like, mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, between you and I, because we used to play Apex a lot. Yes, a lot. Yeah. Did this ad make you want to go back to it? Not really, no. No. I mean, here's the thing. Like, I actually did play Apex Legends kind of recently. Like, uh, it's like two weeks ago, I think, at this point with the boys. Oh, um, mm. it's like um the new stuff is like all right uh because like a lot of the updates well okay so there's this new mode for trios right um when you get knocked down and you and then, uh, they finish you as long as your teammates are alive you can actually respawn back into the game with your teammates and stuff and you have your like most of your gear still right um, it's only when you kill or knock down everyone else, um, that's when the team is wiped out. It's a team wipe, right? Or squad wipe. So, it was interesting. Um, but at one point, we were trying to get into a game and nobody was playing. Like, we could not get a game going. Like, we were like, what the fuck is going on? You know? And so, 
I don't know, man. Apex is just kind of like limping along at this point. And uh, kind of a shame because I kind of did feel like going back to Apex a little bit. Only because uh, uh, Todd and um, Todd, Faka, and uh, Mitchie were playing. So I'm like, all right, maybe I'll chug along or uh, play along a little bit and just see. And um, otherwise, like, like the game itself is still all right. But man, it's like if... If there was a point where even like the main mode was not getting games in or getting people enough players to get a game in, it's like Jesus Christ, that's fucking sad. You know? So it's like you're telling me that there's actually no people to play with at this point in time when we were we used to get a lot of games in at this uh, around this time frame, which is like you know like early in the morning. You know, so it <laughs> kind of a shame, kind of a shame. Yeah, because otherwise, like, cause otherwise um, dual wielding the uh, Mozambiques and the uh, some of the pistols are kind of interesting and stuff. Interesting ideas. Yeah. Um, I didn't really get to mess with the new hero at the time, which was um, I forgot her name, but it's she um. She's a, she's a skirmisher or whatever, and she makes like little portals and stuff, kind of like kind of like Wraith, but uh, I forgot her name. Anyway, other than that, um, there are other changes too, but I forget. I, 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 it's kind of hard to explain without taking up too much time. But um, yeah, it's just it's like a it feels like a shell of itself right now, or it's. It pretty much is and going to be a, a former shell of itself at this point. A hollow shell of what it used to be. Shame, because I I really like the core gameplay of Apex Legends. Like I like the gunplay, like the actual like shooting and stuff like that was really satisfying, but you know, over time, like the way they treated like the monetization and like um how essentially people treat the game in the meta and stuff like that is just really annoying, you know, and then like the whole thing with ranked ever since they fucked up ranked and having the sweaties go come over to uh, pubs and just, yeah, it made things just hard to enjoy it, you know, and by the time and I, and also yeah. it was its respawn, like when they were doing their buffs and nerfs, it's like they didn't know what they were doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, that too, that too, that too, for sure. That definitely did like, not help. They were giving like buffs for like weapons that didn't need it. They yeah. Were nerfing like. Mm hmm. Yeah. They were kind of like nerfing stuff that shouldn't be nerfed that heavy. And it's like. Mm. Right. Yeah. And then changing like the yeah. um, ammo. Um, whatchamacall? Oh, the types. Yeah. The ammo types to certain um, weapons. Mm hmm. Here's a Spitfire. It looks like a big ass heavy gun. What bullets do you think it takes? Heavy ammo. Light. It used to be heavy at one point, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Then it changes to light. It's like, mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's when you're just going like what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which again, that's when you bring up the Do you have some form of brain damage? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and then you know, and then people people from respawn started to leave and stuff like that. So that didn't that didn't help either. So yeah, damn shame, really. All right, last one. It's been pretty long for the show. I know. Uh, did you see this or heard this, Sawa? This is uh the Lord of the Rings War of Rohirrim. Ro Rohirrim. Rohirrim. So it's a pretty much a not a prequel, but it's a it's a story of the start, I believe, of mm -hmm. um, Rohirrim and such. I'm glad, but it's not live action. Yes, yeah, it's it's, a, it's, a, it's an anime inspired style. Yeah, yeah. yeah. anime, but so which I I think for like. Because this is like a um, uh, an origin story, yeah, yeah, it's an origin story of Rohan, 
Mm -hmm. Which would be better because sometimes showing showing like massive to me is much easier done the animation style mm -hmm. than like like because you you will be able to pick up like you know where the CGI of the um, extras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You can better... I can't say yeah. I know I know a lot about the um beginning of Rohan. Yeah. That's like from my friends who are really in love with Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Cause they they read the book. I pretty much did the movies first and then went back to the book. But it looks good. Like animation wise it looks really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the question is, are we who's watching this in English or who's watching this in Japanese? Yeah, I think yeah, um if I were to watch this, I'll probably treat it like Final Fantasy 16 and watch it in English because it has like a you know like that English setting or whatever European yeah. settings. So I'll watch it in English. Yeah, because yeah, I I would watch it in English because um Rohan has a um distinct uh, accent. So yeah, 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 yeah. I want to hear what they, what is their accent because I'm sorry, yes. nothing against the. The Japanese um, VAs, but yeah, sometimes your accent does not, you know, go well. If that makes sense, it, like yeah, it's 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 a different, th it's a completely different thing, and accents yeah. are not translated well when it comes to English accents and stuff, right? Because they have their own accents, you know. Uh, or dialects, more like, you know, and it's a little that's hard. Why, like, yeah, um, yeah, it's a little hard. Like that's why I'm. Um, when it comes to like Japanese accent or dialect, you can kind of tell where the person grew up. Cause um. Oh no, you can definitely tell where they grew up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you know Japanese, because, yes. What was it? It's it North. If they were born, if they grew up in northern Japan, they say desu, and if if it's like southern, it's des. Forget we. No, it's a, little, it's a little different. Like it's just like certain yeah. words get changed yeah. around. Um, changed around or pronounced differently. They pronounce differently. Yeah, yeah. Like certain I certain know. key words are distinctively yeah. different um, in each dialect. So, uh, and then like, you know, like the little particle, the particle stuff and gets a little different too. And yeah, all that, all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I I'd rather watch this in English cause you know, I watched Lord of the Rings in English, obviously. So it's, you know, right. I think that would make sense for uh, me. You, you watch Lord of the Rings in, um, in Mandarin. <laughs> No, in Spanish, it have a more of like a different tone to it. Yeah, like 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 some of those like Western movies. <laughs> Maybe that'd be kind of interesting. Or you know, the uh, Italian, right? Italian. <laughs> anyway, so I mean, it's interesting. Uh, a Lord of the Rings um, anime could be interesting even elon musk himself said could be good <laughs> it'd be good it's like, mm. all right yeah. all right dude <laughs> all right i'll get back to the board it stops sucking off bitch fix x if you're gonna call it x make it good <laughs> I, i'm still gonna call it twitter you know Anyway, that's actually we all. Oh, that's all we have. Uh, that is it. It's been a uh, be long show once again. But yeah, Gamescom. There was quite a bit to talk about still. So, um, so yeah.
that's it for the show things that's it for the hype cast we're almost heading to we're getting close to um 300 man 290. Yeah. it's hard to believe right doing this for almost 300 episodes <laughs> yeah it's been a long journey but uh yep our journey will continue next week so uh but with that uh or with that thank you very much and um Was that? Oh shoot! Helix uh, dropped something. Hyper, <laughs> is that a hyper realistic alien <laughs> I see doing a podcast? <laughs> well, okay. Um, sorry to see. Uh, oh, he, okay. Oh, he's still he's still around. What's up, Helix? It's been a, it's been a it's been a hot minute. <laughs> we we were just about what? to sign off. <laughs> but, but what alien? I. Uh, not sure this alien <laughs> yeah or um oh what you call terry i don't know <laughs> me i don't know am i an alien no no idea all right <laughs> we're gonna sign off uh and we'll be back next week hopefully so thank you very much and we'll hope to see you all in next one bye bye oh this is me alien <laughs> that's right <laughs> that's right that's right all right